Hello, welcome to the kitchen. Hi, um, today we're going to be making two things. So they're written here, um, but this is this is what they look like. But ciao, bye bye. We are going to be making miso soy um, Brussels sprouts, which I'll go about explain a bit more about, and a spinach cheese pastry log thing. Um, so the Brussels sprouts are going to be made from a recipe I got from TikTok. Hold on. By Thomas Straker. There we go. See, I want to give people credit. Um, and it's it's a cabbage recipe, but I and I've made it before with cabbage, and it was the bomb. It was lovely. And I thought, well, Brussels sprouts are just tiny cabbages. So why don't we try it the same recipe, but with Brussels sprouts? So I want to make it for Christmas. That's what today's gonna to be. It's gonna be a day where we're gonna test some recipes that I was gonna make at Christmas. But we can try them beforehand so I don't make them for the first time on Christmas and they're disgusting and everyone's upset with me. And then we're also going to be making a spinach pastry log cheesy thing, which is by um, Essen Parodies. It's not an originally an English channel um, on, sorry, an English account on Instagram. It's kind of very, very similar to the spinach puff recipe that I've made a million times but it's got more cheese in it and it's in a lot shape of a log so i'm also going to make some spinach puffs if i have time because i told, said to some friends that i would make some spinach puffs because we we're, we're, we're going to be getting together on saturday and i was like i will bring spinach puffs but if i don't have time to make it today i'll make it tomorrow so that's not part of the stream necessarily um so yeah without further ado oh um yeah, if you, you can type exclamation mark menu, but the recipe links are actually pinned in chat. So if you want to go and see the original videos, there they are. And I think that's everything. Yeah, I think that's everything I need to do for an intro. Let's get cooking. So, um, I don't really know which one I'm going to do first, because neither of them take an awful long time. So I guess we could just kind of do one at a time, um, if we really, really wanted to. It's really difficult to scroll on this without scrolling to the next video. So I think... The spinach recipe doesn't really talk about how to mix together everything. Um, I think it's... It says to use frozen spinach, so I'm guessing that the spinach in the recipe isn't pre-cooked. Which is how I do my spinach puffs. So I think we're gonna... We're going to start with getting all the cheese together. That's what we're going to start with. There's a lot of different cheese. So normally when I make spinach puffs, which is like a, um, what am I doing with this? What is this? What's happening here? It's sort of like a, like a, like a, like a recipe. I am known for this around with, with certain groups of my friends because I make them so often because I love them. Um, and when I make them, I usually put feta in them. And a bunch of other flavors, but feta is like the only cheese I put in. Whereas this one has got feta and gouda, and it has mozzarella on top, so it's going to be a little bit different. But we're gonna we're gonna get started. With the way the weather is going, you'll be streaming a bonfire soon. Just the entire stream is me stood next to a bonfire. Joe suggested that I did a Christmas. I did a stream putting up the Christmas tree, and I was like, that would be kind of cute. But only really if it was like a way that chat was involved, like I had like ornaments for each person in chat or something, and I don't. So it would just be me putting up a tree for like 10 minutes and then that would be it. I'm related note. Kickman is currently free on Fanatical. Should we ask Lara very nicely to try and play a football game? You really think that's going to go well? The only football-ish game that I've ever played is Rocket League. And I did not have a good time. <laughs> I did not enjoy it. I know I want to enjoy it, and and everyone else who was playing really had fun, but I just I cannot get into it. Mm. Music's really quiet. That's okay. It's not too bad. Right. Oh yeah, and if you're watching this later, I'm gonna refer to the music, but there is no music because the recording doesn't have music. It's only the live. The live stream that gets the music. So shall we, let's prep the cheeses. And by that I mean I need to strain the mozzarella and grate the gouda. And that's it. So, 
let's get started with that, shall we? Ba -da -ba -bum. Yes, if you if you if you join me over here at the table, you come to join me over here at the table. We have pastry, butter, miso, honey, Brussels sprouts, lots and lots of spinach, some fake feta. Which I apparently hate because it's now on the floor. <laughs> it's not real feta because it's they only had this. They didn't have the actual feta. So we have Greek style salad cheese. So fake feta. Um, some vintage gouda. And some mozzarella and some eggs and some sesame seeds. Apologies to the feta. I didn't mean to throw it on the floor like that. Um, yeah, let's get this mozzarella draining. First things first. Because really, I'm trying to think, we don't have that many individual jobs to do today. Like, um, we need to cook the spinach, because I'm going to cook it down. I I don't know if I'm, if I'm supposed to. It's kind of a... It's, the recipe is literally just the video, which isn't in English. Which is... Hold on, let me, let me just get back to the beginning. Chop up the spinach, put in feta, gouda, garlic, pepper, salt, and egg put it in pastry, wrap it up, and put stuff on the top. But it never actually shows what you do if you're supposed to cook the spinach. It just says frozen spinach in the rest in the ingredients. Ooh, sorry, I hit, your, hit the microphone there. Oh, that wasn't too loud. Prep the cheese, open package, and insert directly into mouth. Then go out to the shops and buy more cheese for the rest of the recipe. <laughs> So the mozzarella that they have, like, it's it's not like a block, because you don't see them cutting it, but it's got like, each of the pieces is like an oval, it's like a disc, but I won't be able to get that many of the same size discs from this, because it's round. It's a round cheese. So anyway, we're just going to leave that to drain a little bit. While we do the rest, I'll need to chop up the Brussels sprouts. Um, I need to chop up the Brussels sprouts. I need to make this, the marinade for the for the Brussels sprouts. Um, I need to prep the cheese. I need to cook the spinach. I need to cook some garlic. I forgot the garlic on the table. I have garlic. I need garlic. I have some. Don't worry. And I think that's really it. It's gonna be quite a low effort stream today now fast forward to the end of the stream where i'm like screaming and everything's on fire ah well i've lost my cheese box but like i said i've made the the cabbage recipe with cabbage before and it's super good um I didn't, um, there was something I didn't like about it, and I can't remember what it was. It gave me a lot of liquid, so I don't know if I just didn't cook the, uh, I think I know what song this is. I don't think I cooked the, um, the cabbages long enough at the beginning. I thought it was. This is the dance from Tangled. Got spin with this song, except you have the whole the, the apron up to spin properly. <laughs> so this is vintage Gouda. It just says Gouda, but I guess it's probably fine. I need a hundred grams, so I should probably weigh that. I'm gonna actually weigh. I'm gonna weigh stuff this time. Um. Yeah. What makes it vintage? Is it super old? I'm guessing so. Let's see what it says in the packet. Matured for up to nine months for a rich caramel and buttery flavor with a subtle crunch. Strength four. So yeah, up to nine months. Which could be anything, you know, it could be one month, two days.
Yeah, that's not enough. Oh, it's almost this whole thing, actually, because it says it's the packet is 180 grams, and I need 100, so... Sounds Gouda. So every time I th I see Gouda, I think of the, the scene from She's the Man. Where she's like, what's your favorite cheese? Mine's Gouda. Because I'd never heard of Gouda before that scene. Oh. Ooh, it's tough to cut. I I'll I'll, won't lie. I thought I was going to have loads left for Christmas, but... I've got to get the rind off. Doesn't look like it. And if you want if you want to, you can save these rinds and put them in like a cheese sauce to give it more flavor. There we go. 102. I'm gonna go for that. Up to nine months slaps cheese wheel. We aged this baby for two hours. <laughs> that's basically yeah, that's what's happened. So, yeah, I'm having a secret Santa thing on Saturday, and I said I would bring some food. And annoyingly, the gift for the person I got for Secret Santa hasn't turned up because of the probably because of the Royal Mail strikes. And it's actually one of the first things I ordered. I ordered it so early, and it's still not arrived. <laughs> Proper vintage cheese is measured in years. Oh, I was gonna. I'm gonna make a song. There's a song that I was gonna say about measured in years, and it wasn't the song from Rent. Maybe it was. Measured in years. This is gonna be me for the next few minutes. I want hay on cheese. I love cheese. I love cheese. But yeah, so the spinach puffs I'm making are not going to be the same as the spinach log, the recipe we're doing. It's because um, this has got more cheese in it. And some of the people who are going can't have certain cheeses. So I'm just like, I'm just not going to risk it. I'm just going to stick with the original recipe because they've they've okayed that. And I don't want to make it. How so handy if you find some lost in the back of the fridge. This isn't moldy. It's maturing. Exactly. Exactly. Fine. It's, you know... As long as you keep it airtight, right? Oh. Come here. You're too far away. You can't see what I'm doing. Blue cheese ever mold? Probably. I wouldn't say I've ever seen it, but then again, I've never actually had blue cheese in the fridge. The is mold to Stilton. I do not like blue cheese. Um, I know there are lots of different types, but I've tried a few different blue cheeses, and I just, in general, don't like it. Can't wait to put the oven on. <laughs> so excited when the oven can go on. So I'm supposed to use an entire roll of pastry for this log, which is why I bought two, because the second one can be used for the spinach puffs. I should probably write the spinach puff recipe down. I've made it so many times that I have I've stopped like using the original recipe and I've changed it a lot. But I can't remember. I don't think I've written it down. Blue cheese doesn't last long enough to evolve further. I demolish it on crackers, same with brie. Have you seen the oh no, that's camembert, not brie? Um I saw somebody on TikTok who got a camembert baker. And they did all sorts of fancy stuff to the camembert. I've never I don't think really have had camembert. Hello, Wiki! Okay, I think I'm okay. I think I've managed to grate most of that. So, um, Wiki, right now we are grating some Gouda to go in a spinach log that I'm making for Christmas. Sort of, I think I'm going to probably make it on Boxing Day rather than on Christmas Day because I've got enough, enough, other, enough other stuff to make on Christmas Day. It's going to take a while. 100 grams of Gouda is what we're doing. I was a very professional streamer. Um, I would 
have done this before the stream. But I was too busy getting my brace fixed. <laughs> you can do some of the prep in advance, like, great right in the good. Yeah, I think I will. Yeah, I'll, um, my mom hasn't... I gave my mom a list of the stuff she needs to get for the, the dinner, but I didn't give her a list of stuff for the, the spinach log, because I forgot that it had extra cheese in it. And I was like, oh, I think it's just spinach and puff pastry, but no, I will, uh... I'll be like, could you get some Gouda? <laughs> if I like it, because it might be disgusting. Or try it cheap and pre-grated. To be honest, it's probably going to be... It would probably be super... I don't think I've ever seen pre-grated Gouda. Sounds amazing. I'll be listening and lurking again. I figured as much. That is okay. Don't worry. I'll be happy though because we've been having like crackers and cheese when we're hungry in the middle of the night so if we have some gouda left over I'm sure he'll be happy about that ow oh I didn't grate myself don't worry everybody we're all good <laughs> 100 grams is a lot Let me see, we're doing, for, for the Christmas menu that I have planned, we're going to have the turkey. I'm getting a turkey crown rather than a whole turkey, because there's not a lot of us. We're going to have goose or duck fat potatoes, just whatever my mum can get. Um, the Brussels sprouts that I'm going to make today. Parsnips, carrots, um, gravy, cranberry sauce. Is that it? Oh, pigs and blankets and stuffing. But the um the pigs and blankets and stuffing are pre-made. Also, have a look at my my roots, everybody. Get a nice good look at them. <laughs> Pre-grated often has a powder on it. Yeah, they have usually have like some kind of starch on it. I don't think I've ever seen Guta pre-grated. Also, hi Luca. You know what? If I was doing a cheese board, there's a there's a gourmet cheese place up in Aberdeen. And I would go there to get stuff for the cheese board. But I'm only going up on Christmas Eve and I don't imagine they're gonna be open for long on Christmas Eve. Might just seem to do pre grated, might have like an Aldi a little Oh, okay. Well, I got this from a very small little ugh. I tell you, I went around the shop four times before I found the pastry. Like, I was looking in the right place. I don't know how I didn't see it, but I just kept not seeing it on the shelf. I'm being like, they have to pay. I can't go back without pastry. I need to get pastry. self grating will likely be cheaper though, yeah. I'm also grating it really fine because in the video it looked super fine. All over my hands. If I don't push as hard, it seems to go quicker. You can hear if you probably can't hear it, but I can hear all the little crunchy bits going through. <laughs> it does help me warm up. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm sure it's riveting content. Look how much cheese there is. 
so much cheese. And this is only one of the three cheeses in this recipe. Yeah, I really, I want to get a food processor. I've got a, um... I've got this, but I only have one size for it. So I don't have a, I don't have a really, really fine grating thing for it. So I, I would use this otherwise, because this would be quicker. I don't know why I only have one, one size of disc for that thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna see if I get anything for Christmas because I've asked from, I've asked for a few things like as ideas. It's like, well, I need this and I need this and I need a blender. So I'll see see what I get for Christmas if I get anything like that. I do have a throne. There you go. Do you want me to plug it? I have a I have a throne and by and if you don't know what throne is, I don't mean I have a big seat. I mean I have a wish list that you can buy stuff for me. Um and it gets sent to me safely and without you finding out my address, basically. I used to have an Amazon wish list for that, but I to avoid Amazon if I can. No, you can't see my breath yet, it's not quite that cold. But the sun has officially gone down, so the massive toilet, the best throne, the porcelain throne. Well, there's going to be chunks of feta, so I'm like, oh, look how much gouda. That's so much gouda. Oh my god. Just crumble the rest of it in. Just gonna crumble in the last little bit. Well, definitely smells cheesy. Look at these little bits in it. No more. This can wait. Cheese, number one. Well, two, because we've already got the mozzarella working. So. Right, I think. It might be time to start cooking the spinach. Or the Brussels? Brussels spinach. I think we'll start with the spinach, because we need to put the log in the oven. And while that's in the oven, we can start on the Brussels sprouts. But maybe we should chop them first. No, I know what we're doing. Okay, here's the order. <laughs> I'm going to wash my spinach. Then we're going to... While that's drying, we'll chop up the Brussels sprouts. Then we'll cook the spinach. Then we'll assemble the roll. And then while that's in the oven, we'll, we'll cook the Brussels sprouts. Because it's going to take me ages to chop them all. Because I need to halve them all. So, it's going to take me a while, um, but I want to make sure the spinach has been washed, so. That's a lot of it. I actually don't need all of it for the spinach, for the log recipe. I only need most of it. I'm going to have to wash it in batches. I think that's probably about what I need for the spinach puffs I'm making later. Also, I don't. It said a hunt. It said three hundred and fifty grams of uh, frozen spinach. So I don't know if that's like once it's been cooked down. It's three hundred and fifty grams. Right. Let's um. I think my best technique here is probably just to put it in a bowl rather than um, put it in a colander because there's too much of it. Shh. 
being so noisy. <laughs> Whoa. Ah! I am being an idiot. He's gonna have to trust me that I'm doing stuff over here. Tell you what, I've been kind of gone down a rabbit hole recently. Hold on, let me let me wash this, and then I will come and talk to you. I'm just gonna let that soak for a bit. Ah, oh, that's cold. Right, hello. I'm coming to talk to you now. Hi. Um. I've kind of been recently going on Instagram and like just scrolling through the Discover feed because all my whole Discover feed is usually food and uh, finding some weird recipes, but also finding interesting recipes like this spinach one I found on Instagram, for example. But there's also, you know, the ones where they cook an entire chicken in cheese, like a whole cover it in cheese. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Hello! Oh my goodness! There's a lot of you! Hello! Mm. Thank you so much for that follow. I don't know what that bum ba 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 noise was because it made two notifications, but hello! 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 Welcome in! Hold on, let me just. Um. Thank you so much, Star! Hello! Hello, everyone! Let me say hello to you all. Quick, 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 before it scrolls too fast and I can't catch up. Um. Hello Zero, hello Michigan, hello Orbital, hello Steve, hello Pinky, hello Zero, hello Nikki, hello Crispy, hello Sasuke, hello, uh, I think I've said hello to you all, um, already. Hello! <laughs> hello! Suki, Suki, oh god, why, why, what's happening? Why are there so many Sukis? Um, hi, uh, welcome in, thank you so much for that raid, um, I'm assuming you're probably knackered and going to sleep but I, I love you and i miss you and i hope you had a good stream um and i hello if you've not seen me before hi there let me just whoop, no whoop hi hi my name is lara i am a cooking um and variety streamer and today we're making some christmasy stuff and if you'd like to stick around you're welcome to just come and hang out with me for a wee bit we're just about to um star was testing me oh god on what? Did I fail? I probably failed. <laughs> um, we're about to make some Brussels sprouts. Me so hungry. Also, the recipe is pinned. Actually, I'll just show you. The recipe is pinned at the top of chat. But if you want to see vaguely what we're supposed, we're going to be trying to make this, and then hold on, this. That's the spinach thing. So currently I've um I've got my cheese prepped. I've got um some spinach washing in the sink right now. Test complete. Oh god. I'm glad I passed it. But now I'm nervous what I was being tested on. Stars when you hear me say Suki. Suki. I love you, cook away queen. Oh, thank you, Star. And uh, everyone from my actually hold on, I'll, I'll I can do it. I've got a command thing. Here, everyone who was here before the raid, I will be very surprised if you don't already follow Star, but please go and follow Star. Um, she's amazing and beautiful and fantastic. Beautiful inside and out. Please feed us. Okay, um, there's nothing cooked yet, so you're going to have to wait. But if you want to wait, you can have some Brussels sprouts. <laughs> some Scottish Brussels sprouts. See, that's so... What we're going to do is, I'm just going to... Ah! They went everywhere. Go over there. Go over there. 
Some of them, actually, these could probably do with a wash as well. These guys are really mucky. All right. Let's, uh... I'll be passing wind all day. But it'll be worth it, because they're going to be made with soy and miso, and, and honey and butter, and they're going to be so tasty. I promise. I hope. We're making them because um, I'm going to make them for Christmas, and um, I didn't want to make them on Christmas Day, and they'd be absolutely disgusting. <laughs> We're doing a test. Um, yeah, so. I'm just going to drain my spinach. Spinachi. Spinach. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to change the command. You know what? I went through all my commands yesterday and I didn't change that one. Hold on. Um, I'll fix it now. Like, I literally went through and I changed it on the command list to, stay, to say Starbitsy, and I didn't change the actual command itself. There we go. Saved. Fixed. Done. Wonderful. Um, I'm going to keep going with the spinach now. Oh, I'm making a puddle. I'm just draining the spinach. You don't need to see it. It's not that exciting. I promise. You guys want spinach water? There's now a big bowl of spinach water in my sink. That's what you came here for, right? Right? You came here for the spinach water? Oh, I poured it down the sink. Spinach and cheese stuff is good, but I hate it when spinach gets really wet. Don't worry, I'm going to cook it down. So, um, I've made... I have this recipe that I always use for spinach puffs, which is very, very similar to this one, but I'm using someone else's recipe, which has a lot more cheese in it. So I'm kind of, like, taking what I usually do and then adding, like, lots of cheese. So, spinach water. Do not recommend drinking that, especially because I haven't cooked the spinach yet. I'm just going to give these guys a little wash. Get them in the tub. in there. Scrub it up dub. I'm gonna give them a little wash. Clean up all this puddle that I'm making. These boys, these boys looking mucky. Almost like they grow in the ground and therefore have dirt on them. What a wild concept. Okay. Well, I was saying when uh, once when the raid arrived, as I was saying that I've uh, been looking at a lot of recipes on Instagram recently, and I'm really tempted to just make like a whole like series of just me cooking stuff. Scotland, you don't sound all that Scottish. I don't sound Scottish. Hold on, I'll get to that in a second. Um, a um, a, like a series of just me cooking stuff I found on Instagram because sometimes it looks nice, like the stuff we're making today, and sometimes. Sometimes it's an entire chicken that they've deep fried and covered in cheese. Doesn't sound bad, but it just sounds wasteful, to be honest. And in term, and uh, to address the Scottish thing, yeah, hello, I am Scottish. I was born in Scotland. I've lived in Scotland my entire life. However, uh, my mother is English, and I grew up in a town that didn't really have that many people with strong Scottish accents, so the accent didn't stick. But I do sound a little bit Scottish. Um... I sound Scottish-ish. It doesn't help that I also have a brace in, so I have more of a lisp now, so my accent- my accent hasn't changed, but like, my voice kind of has, because of the, the lisp. Um, I can start speaking in Gaelic, if you like. I don't speak very much of it, though. I can do a couple of words. You can hear it through now and again. Yeah, it's, um, it's more than it used to be. I used to sound a lot more, um, English. But then I moved away from home, and now I live around people who speak with Scottish accents, and it's kind of started to slip back in. Now I have more of a Scottish accent again. Mm. I made the most scuffed sausage rolls yesterday, tin of hot dogs, just roll, and cheese slices. Oh, yes. <laughs> that sounds good. Um, that made me think of pigs and blankets. 
Um, I am from the northeast of Scotland. I do not live there anymore, though. But that's where I'm from. Well, I don't know. It kind of depends how much you count as the, as the northeast. It's definitely not the west of Scotland, say that. Oh, and here's some thematic music <laughs> as you come in. Right, so what we're doing with these little guys... I don't really... Well, he didn't cut off the stems of the cabbage when he made them, so... Oh, no, no, it's okay. You're okay. You're not being too nosy. You are with, well within your rights. I was vague on purpose. You're cooking a whole two sprouts for one for you and one for Joe. <laughs> yep, that's all we're having for Christmas. I think I'm going to cut them a long ways so we get the most surface area. So what we're doing, what we're doing is we are using a recipe that I found on TikTok that I have made uh, before, which uses cabbage. And I was like, well, what's a Brussels sprout if not a teeny tiny little cabbage? So that's what we're going to do. I blame the media. Scottish is Glasgow, English is Benedict Cumberbatch or Cockneys, Welsh is sheep. Oh, don't forget, English is also uh, roadman. Roadman. Wagwan. <laughs> I'm in the cold bit. So the whole, the whole country. Is that a ceramic knife or just a black uh, coating on the steel? It's... I don't actually know. I got this... Um, I have a whole set of these that I got for my birthday from a very generous friend. Um, I think it's just a black coating. I don't think it's ceramic. I think I'd be able to... Yeah, it's not ceramic. Um, but I think it's just a black coating rather than anything else. So what we do with these is we... Um, they are very nice. I agree, but it's still a weird thing to question when someone clearly states their nationality. <laughs> oh, yeah. Peaky Blinders sort of helps, so now we have broadly bad Birmingham black slash black country. Oh, hi, the new. I speak, I sound Russian when I speak Estonian. I am not Russian. <laughs> oh, that's what that sound was. I'd forgotten what that sound. Hold on. Hold on! That sound earlier that happened when we had the raid, I was like, did the raid alert break? Why did it play that sound? No! It's because somebody's been buying me things on Throne and I didn't even notice! Hold on. Luco! Thank you, Luco, for, oh my goodness, for buying me a new game and also contributing, is that a contribution or did you pay the whole thing, for uh, a new pair of headphones? What are you doing? What are you doing? You've already sent me, stop sending me so much, I mean, I'm, I'm grateful, I'm not going to say I'm ungrateful. Yeah, I think that was the whole price. God. Luco! What are you doing? Thank you so much. Like, you already made me so, like, gushy the other day when you sent money. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everyone. I've got new headphones on the way. Well, they're not on the way yet. I have to actually buy them. But still! Merry Christmas to me. Thank you. Uh, the game, Luca bought me the, the new Doctor Who game, which has um, Jodie Whittaker and David Tennant both playing the Doctor through time. They are the HyperX ones, yes. What the heck? Thank you. So now I can play Switch games. Oh, well, that's why you bought me the, the Switch game, isn't it? So I can have the Switch game and stream it. That's why. That's why you did that. Sure. It was totally intentional. I don't know. It was a um it wasn't a direct purchase one because they weren't available in white on Amazon, so I have to now go and like put the money through and buy it, but that doesn't matter. I'm still excited to do that. So this recipe 
is, because I've barely spoken about what's actually in the recipe, I've just spoken about that I've made it before. I'm making such a mess of this chopping board. It's getting so wet. I'm trying to get all the grime out from under these leaves. It's the first, these are the, like, super mucky Brussels sprouts. First time they've ever been like this. Um, basically we, like, salt these to high heaven. <laughs> Not really, we just put a lot of salt on them. And then, um, and then we make a marinade, basically. We grill them, and then we put a mixture of soy sauce, honey, miso, and butter that we've warmed up so the butter's melted. And we, like, spoon it over them. Actually, I don't know if we do warm it up. I'll have to rewatch the video, because I think I warmed them up when I made them before. Yeah. Thank you, Luca. Christmas has come early. I'm gonna be doing console streams. Yay! Bum, 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 bum. So I'm gonna put these in the oven. So I did with the cabbage before. So I'm kind of not doing what the recipe says. We're kind of jumping around a bit with this recipe. I don't even like this song. I just keep singing it because it keeps coming up. Let me, let me change it. So what's everybody, if you're having a a Christmas meal, tell me what you're having. Or a uh, similarly timed holiday. Also, if you missed last week's, not last week's, the week before his cooking stream, it is going live on YouTube tomorrow. So you can go and see that and watch that while I'm not live. And I no longer stream on a Friday because I now work on a Friday. Though, uh, my manager at work offhandedly kind of was like, oh, you'll be going back down to eight hours soon. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, because it's, you know... It's not going to be Christmas time. We're not going to have the extra hours to give you. So you're going to have, you're going to be going, are you not, is that not what you want? I was like, no, I need, I still need money <laughs> just because it's not Christmas time. So I don't know if I will be able to stream Fridays, perhaps. I'm not sure. It just depends. We're making a nut roast like usual, but I'm adding in sun-dried tomatoes and other tangy, delicious things just to mix it up a bit. Ooh, that sounds lovely. That sounds very nice. So, something I always think about is what I would make if I was making a vegetarian slash or vegan Christmas, um, Christmas dinner, but I had to have it nut free. Like, what would I make? I could just make, like, you know, like a stuffed butternut squash or, like, pumpkin or something, but I don't know, I don't feel like it's interesting. Oh, I may have cut that wrong as all the leaves are falling off. Whoops. Oh, these are over. It's fine. I don't need money to pay my bills. Yeah, it's because the head office give them, um, like, they give them more hours to, to split between staff when it's over Christmas time. Put some sticks in. No! There are plenty of other options. I just don't know what they are. Because obviously there's nut roasts, but Joe can't have nuts, so I always I always think about that. Right, Brussels are prepped, so we can get them out of the way. I'm just trying to do the prep before we get anything else done. 
I'm gonna cook. I think I was gonna cook the spinach now. I think that's what I was gonna do next. Um, don't fall. Thank you. Hold that. Push that down a bit. There we go. Um, yeah, we're gonna cook the spinach next. I've done a veggie beef Wellington. You just just using meat replacement. Oh. Yeah, you know what? That's a great idea. I've seen I've also seen a lot of like veggie beef wellingtons with um like mushroom and like I've seen one with beetroot. That would be nice. Mmm. Mmm. All nuts. Um it's the oral allergy syndrome. Uh he's very, very allergic to peanut, and all other nuts just make him kinda itchy. So he just avoids them. Um, but we haven't like gone through and tested every single nut and like been like, here, have this one, here, have this one. The only thing that seems to be okay is almond flour, like when it's processed, so when it's part of like cookies or like in marzipan and stuff, that seems to be okay. But uh, I don't know why. It's really strange. Hold on. Um, what's I gonna do? Garlic. Yeah. I need to chop some garlic, but I, I can do that while the spinach is cooking. Yeah, right, we'll get the, the spinach started. Instead of doing one task at a time, let's try and do some multitasking. That is something I'm gonna have to figure out for Christmas. I'm gonna have to, like, have all these things on the go. And they're all, um, the oven isn't tiny but it's also not massive at my mum's so let's get the spinach started anyway i should probably weigh it wait i'm gonna keep doing that joke spinach it's falling out everywhere Let's try and see how much spinach we get. Hundred and eighty. I'm gonna wait for this to stop dripping. Chickpea meringues are interesting. I've never really used aquafaba. Like I know that I could. Oh! That's actually over what we need. I'm still gonna. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do what we've washed. Please don't get spinach in my coffee. That's not gonna be very nice. Because I'm not 100 percent sure they mean. Because they they probably mean. 100, 350 grams when it's cooked. So I'm gonna. Go for over 350. But. All right. I've just got it in the pan on the heat. And it's just gonna cook down while we. Uh, chop some garlic up. Yeah, I've got... I'm just trying to think. I've got a bunch of stuff. I can't make the gravy until the turkey's done. So... Thinking about... I thought I saw you! There's a, there was a, a spare sneaky brussel that rolled away under my computer. Ooh! Ooh! Guys, okay. Um... I know my brain is, I'm jumping around a lot right now, but um, I saw the most beautiful PC case the other day, and I was like, I've been thinking about trying to get a PC together for streaming for a while, but then I saw this PC case and I was like, it's so pretty, because it's white, and it's got like RGBs, well, it's just, like I know RGBs are like so stereotypical, but it's so pretty and it matches all my stuff. It is. She has a cooking superpower. Perhaps. Perhaps. I'm going to put a tiny bit of water in this, just so it doesn't burn at the bottom. And then just let it cook. Let it cook while we do some garlic. So I need two cloves for this. Um, whee! For this whee! For this recipe. So we'll do that. I'm controlling multitasking. That's, yeah, my life.
it's also just it's so prevalent at work recently because normally i have really good um systems and stuff in place to deal with the adhd so that i can get work done and be a you know keep up with what i've got to get done at work but because we've been so busy at work if someone asks me to do a job and i don't have time to write it down there and then i won't remember it i'll forget it in like five minutes so it's just been so much more obvious to me I was like, ooh, clearly I do have ADHD. You know sometimes when you're like, your your strategies work too well? I imagine Christmas messes up coping systems for a lot of people. It, yeah. It's just been so busy. I mean, obviously, I work in a toy shop and it's Christmas. Duh. But... <laughs> It's just mad, but um, my boss is giving me Christmas Eve off, which is wonderful. So I have a little bit more time to get everything wrapped and packed. And yeah, I need to remind myself that neurotypicals don't need strategies. Exactly. Like you know, like you know what I mean. Like if if it, if your strategies are working not too well, but if they're working really well, and then you're like, well, maybe I'm not neurodivergent. Maybe I'm I'm I am neurotypical and I've just been like making it up this whole time and then like one thing goes wrong and everything collapses and you're like, no, nope, never mind. No, never mind. I am definitely Um I am definitely neurodivergent. We're all good. Don't worry folks, <laughs> everything's back to normal. Okay, next question. Now, give me a second to give some uh, disclaimers here before I ask this question. Oh, my B reel. Never mind. We're going to have to wait for that question, and you're going to have to be waiting on tender hooks as I get my phone out. Trying to get a uh, good picture of what's happening here. There we go. That's good. That works. Um, yeah, so what was I saying? Yes. Um, you obviously don't need to have one, and it doesn't need to be set at this time of year. But does anyone happen to have a New Year's resolution? I don't think I do this year. Just things that I've already committed to that I'm still doing. Hold my beer, not a bear. Sometimes I think I'm normal and then I do she's like, hold my beer. Hold my bear. Hold the bear. I do miss cooking on a Friday. Um for those who are newer here, I used to do well, I used to, used to, way back in the day, I used to do a full week of all my streams were cooking streams. Um, and then once I switched to one day a week, I would do it every Friday. Now I work on Fridays, so I can't. And I really miss it. <laughs> Bears should be held. They don't know that. They tend to get angry. I'm only done do resolutions, but saving for studying in Japan is the big goal for me. <gasps> that's so that's so exciting. Yeah, I'm considering trying to do like a, a no spend January thing. I don't really know how. Like I'd still obviously have to spend money on food, but just like not buying anything extra. My new resolution is the same I make every year, Pinky. Try to take over the world. I mean that's as good a resolution as any. I don't see why not. Well done, nobody making the uh, the 1080p joke. My New Year's resolution is 1080p because I'm going to try and get the stream, uh, set the stream quality to 1080p. But I don't think I don't know if my laptop could cope with that, so I might not. Leave, I might leave it for now. <laughs> 
So right now, what's happening is I've got spinach cooking. It's going to cook down until it's like the smallest bit of spinach ever. Um, then we'll drain it and dry it. It's all about 8k. Blech. We'll drain it and dry it, and then we will... Oh, we'll probably get the oven on, to be honest. Probably get the oven on. Oh, and we'll need to chop up the uh, the mozzarella. We're like 55k. Think future, think better. I think my laptop may explode if I did anything. I think it might explode at 1080p, to be honest, but anything, even, anything higher than that is definitely going to make it blow up. But let me, let me, I think I still have the... Do I still have it? I do. Let me show you. Let me show you the case. Look at this case. Look at it. Oh, hold on. Let me show you on this one, because this one will actually do the uh, auto focus. Oop. Look how pretty it is. Oh, well, when you when you could see it, it's it's white and it's got really oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. It basically it matches my keyboard and my mouse and everything. And I'm like, it's so nice. I want it, but it's also really expensive. Okay, I shouldn't have added that water. There is now too much water in the bottom of this pan. Spinach water, anyone? I'm going to pour that water out because we're respectful in this house. Corsair. It's a Corsair IQ. Like Q spelled C-U-E. 500T in white. That means anything to anybody? I saw on a, um, I was watching a PC build video, which I don't really tend to do. It just kind of came up and I was like, yeah, this looks interesting. Um, and they were like, we've been sponsored by Corsair. Go and buy their new case. And it was that one. And I was like, oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> I want it. And then I have my, my new HyperX white headphones that Luca just got me and the little cat ears. And oh, it's going to be, it. it's going to be such a vibe. It's going to look so good. But there's no way I can buy it right now. I just, it's just a dream at some point. You know? Okay, we're getting there. So this is the current state of the spinach. Most of it's cooked down. There's a little bit left. This does not look like it's going to be enough for an entire, like, log of pastry. But I guess we're adding a bunch of stuff, so we'll just have to see. My friend has that case in black, or one very, very similar. Nice and easy to build it. Yeah, they they have the same one in black. Um, I would probably get someone else to there. Someone would get to um. Oh my god, <laughs> what are sentences? I would probably get somebody else to um build it for me because I would be way too scared that I would like do some pro. I would make a problem with the static, or I would wouldn't be able to cable manage properly. Like, I know in theory about a, a little bit about computers, but, like, not really enough to build one myself or pick all the parts myself. I feel like I'm going to have to get someone else to help me with that. Things go really well. You can get the glass laser etched with the channel logo. I know. That would be so cool, right? There's also this, um... There's a case that I see, I've see i seen where the... Like, the glass can be used as a screen... Like the glass on the side can be used as a as a monitor, so people put like graphics and stuff on it, and it's so fancy. I don't think I I don't need that, and I don't think I'd ever get that. But it just seems like such a an extra thing. It just seems really interesting. Right, spinach is cooked, so we're gonna dump it in this, strain out as much extra water as we can, and then um dry it out with a towel. You'll see what I mean, because I'll show you. But we'll leave the pan out because we're going to need it for the garlic. Oh no, wait, we don't cook the garlic in this recipe. The garlic goes in, in raw. Okay. Having built two PCs in the last 14 years, it can be scary when you're holding all of your savings, yes. I would just be so nervous that I would, like, 
be almost done and then I would like have that something would be staticky and then it would just break everything. Just uh I can't really show you without dribbling all over the floor, but I'm just pushing the the water out of the the spinach. The spinach. I don't feel like this is enough. Should I cook the rest of it? I don't know. Hmm. Pro tip, building PCs naked is not just a meme. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So we had to, um, uh, not fix, but we had to, we were cleaning out Joe's PC because he ha has an actual PC rather than a laptop like me. And he, um, and I was just standing there going, oh, I'm so scared. What if there's static? Oh my God. And, um, he had like his friend give him like an an one of those anti-static bracelet things. Just don't do it with an audience. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this spinach on here and see how much we've got. Okay, so that's 350 grams ish, almost 400 grams, became 216 grams of spinach. So I think I'm gonna cook down the rest of it that I bought. I don't think we're gonna have enough otherwise. And I can always buy more spinach to make spinach puffs tomorrow after work. Yeah, I'm going to do that. That's what we're going to do. Okay. So, in that case, I'm just going to... What do I do with this? What do I do with this? There's no point drying it until I have all of it in the towel. I'm just going to put it over here. Just going over there. Take your socks off and try not to touch the sides with the hoover. Not managed to fry anything yet. Breakfast is made. What are you having for breakfast? Oop, it's the police coming to get you because of your breakfast shenanigans. This Cajun spice sausage is spicy. Why? Spicy. I've shared a few pics of my PC and Discord. Oh, okay. I'll check them out once I've got this uh, spinach cooking again. I'm just washing it. To be honest, I don't normally bother washing this, but I'm going to this time because the bag specifically said unwashed. No. Scrambled eggs, Cajun spice sausage, sourdough English muffin with a bit of avocado. This towel is completely sogging. Sogging? That's not a word. Soaking. Soggy? I think maybe soggy was what I was going for. I'm going to grab another one from the cupboard. <laughs> Ba-ba! Towel. Right. Okay, spinach is back on. In the spirit of PCs, here is mine. Let's have a look. Close, thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you, need to, you need to tag your, uh, your tech porn, please. That looks really cool. Also, your breakfast looks great, Luco. So yeah, for my normal spinach puff recipe, I will um, cook the garlic. Like, we'll fry it before I put it in. This recipe doesn't say to do that. So we're going to go with what this recipe says, and then when I'm done, when we've tasted it, 
I will decide whether it, I would have preferred it with cooked garlic from the start or not. It's five eggs. I only wanted three, but the leftover two just looked sad. <laughs> well, at least you got lots of protein for breakfast. That's a good breakfast. Oh, I had a great breakfast the other day. Um, I mean, I made it, so maybe I shouldn't say it's great, but I fried... Um, I had an egg, one egg, Joe had two, but what I did was I saw this thing on TikTok where you do like sesame oil and then you cover the bottom of the pan in sesame seeds and then you fry the egg on the top. So we had, and then you serve it with rice. So we had that, but I also put chorizo in the pan first. So it was like sesame oil, but also like chorizo oil. And then we mi I mixed the chorizo through the rice and it was so good. And some other stuff, like some seasonings. But it's really good to have protein in the morning, especially if you are you have ADHD. Apparently, that's a thing. This coffee. It's cold now. I don't know what to make next week if I do a cooking stream, because next week is going to be the last streams of twenty twenty two. I'm gonna wait really wait really for what the ADHD thing I'm assuming question of the day how do you cook your scrambled eggs um so I was taught a way of doing it in the microwave by my mum but then Joe showed me a way of doing it in the pan like a frying pan and it's a lot better <laughs> Yes, protein in the morning. It's it's apparently really good. I can't remember where I heard it, so take that with a pinch of salt, obviously. But it's apparently really good for your brain to give it lo like a lot of protein in the morning because it helps it work better and like have stuff to run off. I think it's the case for everybody, but it's especially good for the way that neurodivergent brains work, apparently. But you'd have to look it up and see what the science is behind that. But I've been trying to have, like, I found a peanut butter, because obviously Joe's allergic, but I try to have something with a, with a lot of protein in it in the morning when I can, if I have a lot, if I have a big day ahead of me. Because it tends to keep me, uh, keeps my brain more focused-ish. Mmm. These are made with sour cream. You put sour cream on your egg? That's really interesting. I do not do that. I do, um, butter, and that's it. Though I have heard of, I think, I've heard of people doing it with mayo as well. What is creme fraiche? I... Creme, I like creme fraiche, but I actually don't know what the difference is between creme fraiche. Like, technically, like, how it's made between creme fraiche and sour cream, other than sour cream is sour and creme fraiche isn't. That's why I prefer creme fraiche, like, when we're having, like, tacos and stuff. I prefer creme fraiche because I don't like the tang of the sour cream. Right. So I've got a little bit more spinach now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna dry it out. When Ramsey do a scrambled egg thing years ago. I might have a bit of this gouda. It's just sitting here. I'm gonna have to have a try. Ooh. Ooh. That is definitely vintage. My goodness. Creme fresh. It's fresh, not sour. I'll exit now. No, please stay. <laughs> um, the way I do scrambled eggs is we put butter in a pan, wait for it to start melting, then you put your eggs in. Joe's recently started doing a thing where he puts the eggs in whole and then he like breaks them in the pan, but I like to break them and like mix them up beforehand. And then you basically just put it on the heat, take it off the heat, stir it, put it on the heat, take it off the heat, stir it, because you don't stir it while it's on the heat. I don't remember. I haven't done it in a while. 
Yeah, it might make some... <laughs> That's a lot of liquid. Okay, hold on, I need another towel. Emergency towel! Quick, quick! I get two non-fluffy ones. It's always the plan. The tofu towels. Um, what we need to do is we need to wrap this up as tight as we can. Usually put something heavy on it, just like you would with tofu. Oh, you don't usually need three towels, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to be a bit extra. Why not? That's why I cook them over easy, plus I get yolks to dip my toast in. I don't like... Okay, I think I've just been... Squish! Lend me your strength, chat. Um, I think, I think I've been burned by having over easy eggs with the white still liquidy on the top because I hate that. That's like a big no-no for me, big ick. Um, and uh, so I always have mine sunny. Um, I always have mine flipped. Wait, no, over easy is then flipped, isn't it? Sunny side, no, over easy, yes. That sorry, yes. I got it mixed up in my head. I don't like sunny side up. I like over easy. That's it. My grandma used to use a hand mixer and then we cook it halfway and then finish them right before eating. They'd be so fluffy. Ooh. That sounds good. It also just depends how you like your scrambled eggs. Because when I was young, I used to like them like really cooked. Like there was not allowed to be any runniness. Like I hated that. And I'm still not great with texture, but I prefer them with like a little bit softer now. When you white's cooked, yeah, bleep. But I had the, oh, the eggs I had the other day with the sesame seeds. Give that a try. Next time you're frying an egg, use like sesame oil and sesame seeds. Like do like a light scouring of sesame seeds and then fry the egg over the top of them. It's really nice. Then you serve it with rice. In the original TikTok, um, they served it with gochujang in the rice, but I didn't have any. So I just like used other stuff. It's a lot of liquid. I clearly did not strain this very well. It's like Christmas. We're unwrapping it. And there's our little spinach baby. Mostly dried out now. Ba -ba. Spinach baby. Okay, we're going to take spinach baby away for a second. And I'm going to um, need to put the oven on, actually. It's the next thing I need to do. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Just making sure I've only got the things I need open, because otherwise my phone's gonna run out of battery real fast. Oh no! It closed my Instagram. Where was we reading the recipe from? Boop. Boop. Um, right, how... How high do I need the oven? 180 degrees. And you know what, I probably don't need to put it on right now, but I will uh, get it set up to go on quick, quick. I can speak. So with the cabbage recipe, we're supposed to grill them and then marinate them. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to fry them and then I'll put them in the oven in the dish that I used the last time I did this, except obviously I had a bigger dish because it was for cabbage. Yeah, I'm gonna... Cool. Look at my old friend. Hello, not purple. Um, right, I think we can just mix these together now. Except I need the chopping board. That's why I started talking about the Brussels, because I need the chopping board. Um, I need to put the Brussels in something else just for the time being. Howdy. Howdy. I also don't know if I'm supposed to cook the, the marinade for the Brussels, but we don't need to worry about that right now. We're just currently, I'm making my spinach roll, so I don't need to worry about these Brussels yet. Just going to move them out of the way. Christmas test. Oh no, I didn't Christmas study. Hello, Maru. Is 
Is there? There's probably a, a Hallmark movie called A Christmas Test. Hundred percent of people who live forever don't die. Is that an incorrect statement? I don't think so. Right. So now that we have, again, this is sort of more what I do in my recipe, but we're doing it now. Now we have a a puck of spinach. So those towels need to have a wash. That's okay because I'm gonna put on a little laundry tonight anyway. Um, you may notice that we didn't remove the stalks when I cooked the spinach. Um, so, and that's because we're just going to chop it up now. Hey, get out of my sandwich. No. What we're going to do is we're just going to chop them up like this. You could maybe, like, blend it. I guess. I'm getting garlic all over my hand. Well, is that true? Because there might be one or two people, like 0.01% of people who were resuscitated. Hey, you made random cheese and ham croissants today and they're banging. Thought they'd be rubbish I just use random stuff in them, but turned out really good. I like a good cheese and ham croissant. I have a, the cafe that I go to and it's the only thing I get when I go there because it's just they just make them so well. I honestly, I don't think it's that they make them any differently, but it's just like... Sometimes that's what you want. And also, hi Danny! Well Danny, are you going to be having a Christmas meal? And if you are, what are you going to have? I've been asking people what they're having. Same for you, Mario. Also, when I was out today, because um, I had to go to the orthodontist and I get my ingredients for the stream, so many people, like, like at least three, and it doesn't sound like much, but like at least three people, like had a conversation with me or like made a comment when I wasn't interacting with them. You know, like when when you're um, like on the street and someone will like, I'm trying to say this. I clearly had a very approachable face, is what I'm trying to say. I clearly was giving off something this morning, because multiple people, like, strangers, just spoke to me like I knew them, and it was really weird. <laughs> like, it happens now and then, that's fine, but it was, like, several times, if I did more than three, I think it might have been, like, five, people were just chatting away to me, and I was like, oh my god, what is it with my appearance today? 0.01% of the world's population right now would be about 8 million people. Okay, not 0.01% then. Um, right, let's make up the filling. And I should probably put the oven on now. Boom! Okay. Oven is heating up. So, we need... Two cloves of gar- No! I lost the video again! Ah! This is the problem with it being on uh, on Instagram. Um, two cloves of garlic, spinach, 100 grams of feta, one egg, 100 grams of gouda, salt, pepper, and then I'll need to chop up the mozzarella. No, they weren't all men. That's the thing. There was um, there was one old guy, like older guy. I don't think he was actually like super old or anything, but he was like an older guy and. We kind of did the, the awkward thing of like one of us went one way and the other one followed because they were like trying to get past and we were like boop boop. Anyway, eventually we sorted it out and we passed each other. But just before we passed each other, he went, yeah, you go that way. Like in a, it wasn't like a rude way. It was just like a jokey, like haha kind of way. And I was just like, this is weird. <laughs> What's happening? And there was someone else who, while I was waiting in the orthodontist, they like said hello to me, like another patient came in and I automatically looked up and they were like hi and I was like hello it was just like <laughs> it was just really strange 
I don't know what happened. But it doesn't. This is not a normal thing. This doesn't usually happen to me. I don't usually have lots of people talking to me in the in the street. That's why I'm making a point of it. Like occasionally, yes, or someone will comment on my hair, or like if I'm wearing like a nice dress, someone will say something. But most of the time, it's like one person, and that's it. Not like multiple people <laughs> in the space of an hour. It was really strange. I don't know what was going on. Yeah, that one was politeness, I think. But I was worried because I thought I was like, did, have I got something on my face? Am I like, did I forget to wear trousers today? You know. I have a face that puts people off. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, sure that's not true. We got her, guys. Now she's really paranoid for the rest of the day. Right. I said this earlier, but I'll say it again. I normally, when I make spinach puffs, the spinach, sorry, the garlic is cooked before it goes in the mixture. But this recipe said to put it in raw, so we're not going to cook the garlic and we're going to see if it tastes worse, better. We are changing a lot of other stuff as well, so. I say hi to you so politely. Fortunately, having a toddler completely nullifies it, especially with older people. Yeah, I'm quite glad that I don't have a baby or a child because I feel like I would people would want to come up. To, I mean, I'm not I'm not rude to people in the street. I just don't like interacting with strangers, <laughs> and I don't want people to be like, ah, a child. Therefore, I can I can impose myself into this conversation. I think it's just because people are generally more sociable around Christmas. I don't have sources on hand, but I'm pretty sure that some studies have been done on it. That makes sense. That makes me feel a lot less like something's up with me, to be honest. Are you the famous Twitch streamer, but I didn't want to do it in the full train? Yeah, the train was very full. <laughs> okay, so spinach and garlic. Let's get that cheese in. This is 100 grams of Gouda. Oh, it smells good. It smells Gouda, in fact. We also need some feta. And one of the eggs. Look how much cheese is in there! There's more cheese than spinach! I want to watch, but I need to sleep. Have a good sleep, Crispy. This is so much cheese. I feel like this is more cheese. Yeah, this is more cheese than spinach. you sleep well. Thanks for being here. More cheese and spinach is the way to go. That's fair, actually. I would usually agree with that. <laughs> I had to ask a woman to leave before she was escorted from the building. She was screaming at 80 plus year old mom for taking too long to pick up groceries. Yeah. It's quite fun, Joe, being, um, can confirm ratio is correct. I think I've not gotten. I, I need to next. If I ever make this again, I need to have more spinach. In fact, what am I saying? If I ever make this again, I'm making this for Christmas. This is the whole point. I need to get more spinach. So that's the first note. I should probably write this down. Um, is dog Lara better than human Lara? Can we get dog Lara to stream instead? Who's dog Lara? Um, that's a nasty sound. Bop, bop, bop. And I still got to put in some of this feta as well, and salt and pepper. And I think that's everything. Um, yeah, I'm starting to say it's quite funny. Joe now working. Um, for those who don't know, Joe is temporarily working at the same place as me in the toy shop because he needs a job. He needs a job over Christmas. Um. And it's quite funny him coming home and giving me all these, like, customer service. Not customer service, because he doesn't work customer service. He just works with customers. So, customer stories. And I'm there like, mm-hmm. No, I know. I've been I've been doing it for years. <laughs> like, he's like, I can't believe how, how people could be like this. And I'm just like, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I've been there, buddy. 
Do we only have one cheese quote? Quick, say something memorable about cheese. Uh, cheese is good. <laughs> I had a girlfriend who would talk to me the same way we should a customer. Ooh, no, that's weird. Okay, let's get some of this. Didn't go over well. No, I think... Like, unless she's being either incredibly friendly with customers, he's probably that's weird. Like, like I don't do it intentionally. Like, I switch completely. I'm aware I do it, but like, I tried to do this trend on TikTok where it was like switch to your customer service voice halfway through a sentence or something, and I just couldn't do it because I was like, I'm not actually at work. I can't make it. I can't switch it on. Like, it's really difficult. To just be like, boop, unless I'm in the right environment. Like, I could maybe do it now, but I still don't think I could. I did find myself doing it to that woman in the uh, in the orthodontist who spoke to me. Like, I was all ready to, like, like, hi, how can I help? <laughs> you know. It's going to be so cheesy. Sorry, I had to use my knuckles to push that button because I had cheese all over my fingers. I'm not going to put in as much fat as it says, because there's half the packet and there's already so much Gouda in there. Not my customer service phone voice. Uh? <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> okay, actually, I think I have put in pretty much 100 grams, so let's get it over here. Can't do it demand, but it kicks on as soon as I answer. Yeah, exactly! Like, <laughs> it's instinctual. It's so weird because it's it's when we're um, like if I'm having a conversation with a coworker behind the desk, at the customer service desk, and we're like, you know, just like talking like people, like maybe maybe doing memes or something, because we're very similar in that regard, and we're like you know having a laugh, and then as soon as a customer comes up, I'll be like, I'll be I'll be talking like this, you know, blah blah blah, talking my normal voice. Being myself, and be like, "Hi, hi, how can I help?" But it's but it's not like that. That's not the voice I do. I just switch, and I can't make it happen without being in the right environment. All right, I'm just gonna check. I haven't missed any. Throwing fat everywhere. Missed anything? Um. Okay. Garlic, spinach, feta, egg, gouda, salt, pepper. And then we need an egg, like, whipped up for the top, just to make it, like, crispy. And then we need sesame seeds, and we need mozzarella. And it's the mozzarella that I'm a little bit nervous about chopping, because I'm not really sure how I'm going to get the right shapes. But we're going to try. So friendly, regardless, I ask the questions before I look at them, usually immediately after hearing, excuse me. Yeah. Do you know, you know how to customer? Um, so I had a customer the other day that he would, he, so he, he, he has to be the greeter sometimes, right? So you stand at the door and you say hello. That's it. And one time he said to a customer, he went, morning. And she went, no, it isn't. It was half past 10 in the morning. And I'm assuming she said that because she thought he said good morning and she was having a bad day. But it's just like, <laughs> it is morning. Don't be nervous, just be perfect instead. Be perfect every time, without failure. No pressure. Did I put that in there? No, wait, where is it? Ah, there it is. All right, we're going to try and chop this mozzarella for the top. It's been draining since the beginning of stream. That should be good. Use a lot of paper towels today. They're all going in the compost, don't worry. They're not going in the bin. I say morning, even though it's 8pm. I spend so long on nights that I was always there when people would come in first thing, so it's ingrained as a normal response. I used, when I was younger, I used to say evening, whatever time of day it was. I don't know why. Like, not young young, like, high school. I'd be like, evening? I don't know, just because it's fun to say. This isn't sharp enough. I need a better knife. Give me a better knife. 
I mean, I could sharpen it, but I'm just going to use a better knife. I had the boss go. It's 6 p.m., but anyway. <laughs> how, how, that, you know, that's, that's a good thickness. I think that's a good thickness for the slice. No one saw that. No, it's not even good mozzarella. It's cheap mozzarella. <laughs> right, I'm just going to watch the video again. They definitely have more spinach than I do. Okay, so they've got like little slices that are kind of like that thick, I think. I'm showing you closer. Yeah, I'm just going to cut them all like that. They're not going to be the right shape because this is round and their one's like a little flat circle, like an oval. I'm down with the thickness. Good. Oh, I missed something there. It's like French people being crazy about when to say bonjour or bonsoir, but also everyone goes by their own rules. Okay, so we're gonna... I think this could still work, it's just not gonna have like one per slice. Where do the slices begin and end? That's up to us. So yeah, I went through my, uh, I went through my commands yesterday. I have fixed the quote list, I have fixed the command list. So everything is now up to date. Except for if there's been any quotes added today. You didn't mention my birthday was Saturday. You didn't! I don't think you did! Happy birthday! Wait, last Saturday. I really want to eat some of this, but I'm going to leave it because I don't know how much extra I'm going to have. Okay, it is time. The oven is hot. The filling is made. The only thing I haven't done is um, broken up an egg to use as the the paint on the top. So I'm gonna get that. Get a cup out for that. And I'll put that to the side. Ooh, what's happening? Yeah, Luco, um, Luco's got me, got me some Christmas presents, which is really sweet. And I'm really excited about playing it. Throne is, yeah, I don't know why they called it Throne. I'm sure there was probably a reason. Oh, I think, no, that was Combo. I'm thinking of a different place. I know that Combo originally was going to be something else, and then they changed it to be about clips. Oh, I can bake it on this. I don't need to. Yeah, okay. I didn't need that. Here is the pastry log. So the recipe I realized actually calls this a strudel. I've been calling it a pastry log because I didn't know what else to call it. Um, I thought about making it into a wreath, but then I was like, that's just going to be a load of extra steps that I don't really need to do for it to be impressive. Uh, yes, I have taken my iron, but thank you. Um, Yeah, Luca's bought me some headphones that I was looking at getting and a new game to play in the new year. Yeah, I'm just having a look. Okay. So we're going to try and... I think... Is the top and bottom open? That's the thing I can't quite tell. I'm going to have to watch the video again. Mixy mix. What do they do with the top and the bottom? Oh, they don't say. They don't show what they do with the top and the bottom. I think they fold them back up again. Okay. 
So I think we can leave about that much, like an inch, half an inch, half an inch, at the top and the bottom. And this is our mixture. I'm just gonna... Like, I feel like I, I... This should be nice. This should work. Because I've done something very similar to this before. But I still wanted to test it all out before... I'm gonna say Halloween. Yeah, we're gonna test it out before Halloween, everyone. Notably, I'm not testing out the turkey recipe. <laughs> Which I've also done before, but only on chicken. I'm hoping it's still gonna be nice. Get all the bits off. Make sure I get absolutely all of it in here. Yeah, I went through and I cleared off a lot of um cleared out a lot of commands that were no longer relevant. Um or were for games that I haven't played in a long time. So yeah, just a bit of housekeeping that I needed to do because it's been needing it for a while. No, I still need that spatula. Okay, good. I was worried we weren't going to have enough filling, but I think we're actually going to be okay. Would you like a better angle? Let's see if I can get you a better angle of this. There, we have made room. There has been made room. That's not a sentence. That's a bit better. So I think you asked about my um my Christmas New Year plans, Maru. And I was like, oh. Uh, but they've now made plans. I don't know what I'm doing. We are uh I'm gonna be streaming next week. Possibly not Thursday, because I'm probably gonna need it to pack and uh sort last minute things. Or if I do, I'll do a short stream. But it'll be my last stream of the year because between Christmas and New Year's I am going to be visiting family. So I will not be streaming. New Year's. I am working New Year's Eve. So um probably nothing exciting. I think Joe wanted us to have New Year's for our friends. But I don't know if we're gonna be able to have time because basically we're going to be going away to visit my family and then his family and then straight after that it'll be we'll be going to work for two we'll be working for two days and then it'll be new year's eve so we probably won't have time to like get anything together new year's eve working don't miss that yeah well they gave me christmas eve off so i would much prefer working new year's eve and then going to something after my shift ends. If I'm going if I'm going to anything, I don't even know. There we go. It's a little bit messy, but we got there in the end. It took me ages to get that looking knife. Where is that knife that I used for the mozzarella? There it is. Alright, we're gonna I'm also working New Year's and the days before because I never do anything for New Year's anyway. Yeah. Exactly. Like if you get if I get a if I get to pick, I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna go for Christmas. Eve, because my family have never been, we're never big on on Christmas on New Year's Eve anyway, and uh, I would like to host, but I don't think that's gonna happen. All right, I'm gonna check one more time how I cut this, because it's um, because it's very quick, because it's it's literally just like a a, a TikTok basically. Okay. 
Look at slow these days, so it's like having time off anyway. Fair. Alright, I've taken a screenshot. Thank you. I've taken a screenshot so I can look at where they cut the lines. That's the screenshot. So they've got two cuts here. You can't see that. And here above the uh where it starts can i bend this a little bit more without it falling Ooh. no i don't think so uh, i think sky is following me yes <laughs> are you following a lot on tiktok do you know she will live stream <laughs> okay all right all right don't start harassing people please And then it like almost meets up here and they just start doing diagonal cuts. I'm gonna ask every person on Twitch individually, thank you. Well, I feel like if they aren't following me already, they probably don't use TikTok or they're not interested in following me. If they're, you know, if it's like Luco or something who's been around since the beginning. Right. I'm concentrating so much. Sorry, I've never met Lara. I'm afraid I don't know what what that is. What what is tick TikTok tic tacs? And then we have that's oh I think that might be the last one there. And then we have a cut like that and another cut like that. I didn't know that. I don't have TikTok. What is the TikTok? Is it a clock? Are these Whoop! guys? Did you just face plant into my pastry? That was unnecessary. If you want some pastry, you can just ask. You don't need to like throw yourself. Hungy. This really wanted so it looks good. <laughs> I love that you're all like, sorry, it looks so tasty. I couldn't help myself. Right, I think I've cut this one too close. Trying to line these up. This music makes me feel so so good. I just feel like I'm at a, a Kaylee. Right. I don't know what I do with these pieces. I don't know if I cut these off because they then just the next shot is so quick. I'm gonna try and take a screenshot again. They probably have a recipe written somewhere, but it won't be in English, so. Alright, so they kinda so I think they fold this bit down. Okay, I'm gonna make it up. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna make it up. Yeah, so we're gonna get rid of these bits. Use them later. We're making the rest the other spinach puffs. I want this to look pretty. But without it like exploding everywhere. Do that. Like that. Okay. Okay. When does it turn into Brussels sprouts? Um, when the clock strikes midnight. On the third day. Oh no. Oh no. I almost didn't have enough space enough to cover that. I'm assuming I'm supposed to completely cover it. Oh. It is getting gaps now. I made it look so easy. This is qualified as a spinach wrap. Yes. You're uh, on a health kick. I think I made it too wide oh no okay we're just gonna keep going burrito but instead of wrapping it once you wrap it 30 times <laughs> oh 
I think I've missed a slip, uh, a one on this side. Okay, so it's got a couple of gaps. So it's a bit of a fixer upper. It's got a couple of gaps. Um, I think it could still work. I just now need to get the bottom. I mean, this pastry is quite thick, so I could actually probably pull it a bit, but. I mean, it doesn't need to look gorgeous for Christmas, but I do want it to look good for the insta for the gram, for the instant Graham, as uh, Joe's father says. Why am I suddenly in a in a business video? Whoa! Thank you for the hair. I appreciate it. I have all these extra pieces I could put on, but I think that's gonna look worse. You say funny things. You're funny. Thank you. I appreciate the kind words. Right, let's get this on a tray so I can finish it off. Oh no. Oh no! Okay, we can't use this tray. We're gonna have to use a, a, a cookie tray. <laughs> because that tray's not long enough. Can we diagonal it? I think we can diagonal it. Oh, just. It just fits. <laughs> Ooh, okay. We're now gonna we're now gonna sort the um the top, which is really I guess the important part when it comes to looking pretty. Can you say the sentence? This sentence is grammatically correct, but it's wordy and hard to read. Grammarly can help. Yeah, that's that's exactly what just started playing. Right, shall we put on some, put on a pl uh, a gaming? Oh no, you know what? Let's put on. I'm putting on some ambient music. This sentence is grammatically correct, but it's wordy and hard to read. <laughs> oh, I was going to say something earlier, and I can't remember why I didn't finish saying it. I probably got distracted. I was going to say that um, once the like packs of sausage meat go on sale, I'm going to make so many breakfast burritos. I don't know if the sesame seeds go on, go on after the mozzarella. I think they do, yeah. Just mixing up an egg. Rush on the top. I don't have any black sesame seeds. I only ooh, no. I only have white sesame seeds. So um, it's not going to look quite as pretty as the one in the video, but hopefully it's still good enough. Ooh, what was that? Floof. I didn't mix it up enough, it's still very gloopy. Again, another thing I do when I'm not making my normal spinach puffs is I'll like sprinkle some chunky salt on the top and that's really nice but I also I don't know how salty the inside is going to be because of all the cheese so we're not going to do that this time so yeah first change I need a way that you guys can like note stuff down for me that I can look at later I mean I could do it but I can't currently do it because I'm cooking. <laughs> oh, this is sad music. I don't like this. Stop that. Shush. You're too sad. Um... <laughs> I want the sad music. I want the happy music. Let's do that. No, let's do that. There we go. First thing when I make this again is that I need to have 
either more spinach or less of everything else because I feel like it's it wasn't super even but then again it might be really good when we taste it so we'll just have to wait and see okay here comes the mozzarella here comes the boy hello boy welcome here he is We'll have to do the small one, put that on the end. Hopefully they melt enough that you can't tell that they're a little bit, some of them are a bit uneven. There! Then... We make a whole- we make a pig's ear of this by trying to sprinkle sesame and getting it absolutely everywhere in the kitchen. It would definitely look prettier if I had black sesame seeds as well, but I don't. I think I have poppy seeds, but we're not going to do that. Right. And we're going to keep an eye on this because last time I just put something in the oven for the, for the amount of time and then left it and didn't check it. I ended up burning it and I was really disappointed. So, I don't have poppy seeds. I don't know, actually. I don't know because he used to have lemon and poppy seed muffins all the time, so yes, he probably can. Let's take a picture in case I burn it. Get rid of this extra unsightly bit of cheese. Okay, here we go. I think it said 30 minutes, but I will check. Yeah, 30 minutes. 35 minutes. So I'm gonna do 25 and then check it. And it's going in sideways. Okay, recipe number one, done. Once I set this timer, done. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the Brussels sprouts because those are the only two things we're doing. However, what I'm gonna do first is I've, I've like I said a million times, I've made this recipe with cabbage before but what I need to do is I need to make sure Okay, he doesn't look like he heats it up. He just mixes it together. So that I did. I heated it up last time to melt the butter when I made the sauce sort of thing. But it doesn't look like that's what they do in the video. So I think I need to do it um, cold or cold ish. But the butter, it should be soft because it's been out. Well, it should be soft, but it's pretty cold in this flat. So it probably hasn't softened. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the frying pan to grill them and then we might we'll transfer them into something else because I don't have any I don't have a lid for the frying pan um but I want to have like a good surface area so I can see all of them because if the big cabbage is you just go boop in a saucepan and that's fine but these are little tiny little things so I want to make sure they're not piling up on top of each other can you, you understand what I'm saying? Are we are we vibing here? Do you know what's going on? I hope you do. I hope you know what's going on, because I don't. I certainly do not. <laughs> My tiny cabbages. Um, right. So. So. So, 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 so. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. If I want to fry them... First, or if I want to make the sauce first, I'll make the sauce first so you can see what goes into it. So, the sauce slash marinade is four things, one of which is still in the cupboard because I forgot to get it out. Four things, which we are going to judge by eye. I'm pretty sure this person doesn't put the ingredient measurements anywhere. Um, Butter, miso, honey, and soy sauce. This is dark soy sauce. They don't specify, but I'm going to put less than I normally would because this stuff is strong. I've noticed that I've overpowered dishes very easily by putting in too much of this or putting in the right amount of that for the recipe. Um... 
yeah, I'm pretty sure this... I'm just going to see if they have a recipe video for it, or if it's just a... No, they don't. They only have the, the shorts video. Okay. So we're going to have to go by eye. Which is what I... Oh, I closed it. I closed it again. This is what I did last time. So hopefully it's going to work. So if you want the links, they are pinned in the top of chat. If you want to go and see the original TikTok. Um, but yeah, I think I think I could just use it in the same way, but just with um, light source sourcing is wrong in the dark. Is that true? Because I've. Oh, it's the dark is thicker, though, right? Um, I think it's supposed to be that like darks for cooking and then light soy sauce is used at the end but i i honestly i'm not an expert so i'll go i'll bow to your wisdom so the first thing he makes a sauce he just like kind of looks like even measurements of everything yeah it looks like roughly the same amount of each ingredient and then he mixes it together and it's still lumpy because he doesn't heat it up then he fries the cabbage with loads of salt like he puts loads of salt over the top and then he fries them like boop, face down and then once they're like brown, he then puts the sauce over the top, covers them, and then keeps them cooking until they're soft. What I did was I put them in the oven once they once I put the sauce in them because I needed more space. I can't remember why, I, but I think I felt like I wanted to put them in the oven, so I did. And that's just what I did. So I have got something to put them in, so we're just going to make the sauce first, and then we'll just keep kind of... We'll go from there. We're going to try and make an even an even amount of all of it. Dark is thicker as we're cooking, light is stronger, saltier, and for dipping. Ah, okay. I'm still going to use a little less because I think it may be just this brand, but it's very intense. <laughs> and I've ruined recipes before, so I'm going to be a bit more careful. But my first mistake. <laughs> this spoon's too big. So we're going to use a different spoon. Mm. Right. I don't have a lot, and I was going to take this with me to up the road, so be a little careful. Take about a teaspoon of each, I think, to start with. Doesn't look like it's going to be enough, does it? No. Okay, we'll do, we'll do like, I just don't want to take, I don't want to use all of it. I can always go buy more, but. Like, kind of like. Almost two teaspoons, I think. Get the honey in. Now, the only thing is I didn't use real honey last time. That might change things a bit. I keep thinking to myself, oh, I should probably zoom in this camera. I don't need to zoom in. I can just literally move it. Oh. Oh. I just licked the miso off my finger. <laughs> so salty. I mean, it's nice, but it's all just straight me, so that's a bit much. Oh, this needs to be... That needs to be softened more. That is very... Um... Solid. <laughs> Just looking around to see if there's something I can put this on. To soften it a bit. I have to use a plate. Ugh. I don't want to waste another plate. No, I've got an oven right here. Just... I'm just holding the butter in my hand. That's literally what I'm doing. There we go. A bit softer now. Oh, the mozzarella's melting. I hope it crisps up nicely. And then a little bit of soy. And I'm going to taste this before I use it, because... <sighs> See, it just became all soy sauce. Mush. 
motion. I warmed, like, last time I made it in a pan, because I was like, well, the butter is just going to be solid. But the sauce in the video clearly has lumps of butter. Like, that looks nice, but it's like crazy salty. It looks like I'm doing it wrong, but I swear that <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is what I'm supposed to do, so don't worry. I looked at the time there and I was like, oh my god, is it six o'clock already? It is, but I didn't start till four, <laughs> so it's fine. Hang on, shall I taste this? As well as I can. You know what, that's not over- that none of- ooh. I was about to say nothing's overpowering everything else, but that's not true. <laughs> I don't know if I just took an entire mouthful of miso, but it's very miso-y. Ooh, maybe my miso's just really strong. I'm gonna put in a little bit- I'm gonna put in the rest of this butter and some more honey. And we're gonna just go with that. Because <laughs> I'm not really sure what it's supposed to taste like, because I didn't taste it last time. Um, and you know what? What's the whole thing about Baking is a science, but cooking is an art. So we're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna make artistic interpretation. You know, it's fine. Um, right. So I'm gonna get my frying pan out now. Oh, I probably didn't need that honey because it's quite it's quite nice and sweet actually. But I'm gonna get my frying pan out and uh, start with this these Brussels sprouts. I'm supposed to salt very vigorously, but I do that over here or when they're in the when they're in the pan. I don't know. Oh, oh my knees. But we're gonna do something that we haven't done in a while. I'm gonna take out my induction hob. I haven't done that in a while. Um, so bear with me because I'm gonna have to mute my my microphone because this cupboard is very noisy. There's a lot of stuff that will all fall over. Oh. Stupid deaths, stupid deaths, they're funny cause they're true! Woo! Stupid deaths, stupid deaths, hope next time it's not you! <laughs> what died? Me? Sorry, I had to fight the cables behind my uh, my laptop there for a second. I haven't used this in like eight months, so bear with me. It's a bit dusty. Um, Cause I only ever use this thing on stream and I haven't streamed in a very long time and I didn't use it the last two streams. So this is my induction hob, my baby. And we're gonna use it to fry the Brussels sprouts. Because we're supposed to get them all browned. Oh, um, well, I kind of, I started calling it indie because it's an induction hob, but I don't really, it's not really a wonderful name. Like, it's not a very imaginative name, but I haven't really thought about it more than that. Right, I have a pan of Brussels sprouts because I needed to put them in something big. But he's the only the only clean pan I had, um, and I'm supposed to salt them. So I guess I'm gonna <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. 
I'm gonna salt them. Do I salt them with the good salt? No. Why am I salting them? They're gonna have miso and soy sauce. They're gonna be so salty anyway, but okay. We're just doing what the recipe says. That's probably enough for the amount of Brussels sprouts that are in here. Yeah, that feels right. Measure with your heart. Can't break rules if there aren't any. What was the... Was that like a... Mama Cusses on TikTok has like a phrase for that. Like... Can't break rules that aren't there. You want salt with your salt? Would you like some salt with your salt? Alright, let's... The thing about this thing is it's very... Very, re like, reactive. It cooks... It gets hot real quick. Ah! Guys! I know the food looks tasty, but stop throwing yourself in the pan! Good god! There. You okay? You gonna stay? You're not gonna fall in this time? It's also very, um, and gets very, but it gets very annoyed every time I take something off of it for more than one second. I suggest to Copper every time she learns something from a TikTok, she should say, I read an article about it because she wanted to sound more sophisticated. I've given up trying to sound sophisticated. But yeah, in the original, the one that's linked in the chat, they use the same pan to cook the cabbages, like to fry them, and then they put the sauce on them, and then they put the lid on. We're not going to do that. I am going to be transferring it into a separate pan. So, and then I'm going to put them in the oven. <laughs> because I'm changing things. Oh, that looks good. However, we're going to have to move it because I need more space in the oven for this pan. So bear with me. <laughs> Ooh, I also should probably turn it around while I'm here because it's starting to look a little crispy on one end, but not the other. Maybe we should have got different mozzarella. I only had one choice, but it looks like it's melting real fast. Okay. I'm going to do this very... This is going to be very slow because I want to make sure I get this right. But... Um... If I can get it right, then I know what I'm doing for Christmas. And I can maybe do it a bit more gung-ho. Why are you getting so hot and you guys aren't? Is this the, it's the induction hops not even? It should be. Okay, I can't do them all at once. That's what I'm learning. Oh, that one's still whole. How did you escape? Well, maybe that's the one that I found later. I think it might be because I don't, I don't think I cut that one. All right. It's going to have to be it for now. I cannot do any more than that. This is the pan, tub, thing, casserole dish that we're going to put them in once I've grilled them. They're not grilled, but you know you know what I mean. So once they're brown and looking good. Okay, they are definitely starting to get some colour. I need some more oil because they are not evenly cooking. And I don't want oily sprouts, but I also don't want burnt sprouts, so. Yeah, if you see any, like, TikTok or Instagram recipes videos that you'd like to see me make, or you just want to know if they work, 
I'm taking suggestions. I may not make them, but I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> there are still a few cooking um, redemptions that people have done that I need to get to. So, and I'm aware of that. Okay, so we've got a couple more minutes because look, they're, uh, I'll show you this one. Trying to get like that. She's taking suggestions. She might throw them out, but she's taking them. It's true. Yeah. I maybe don't need to, like, brown them as much as the cabbages because they're smaller. So once they've browned, they're almost cooked through, I'd say. So. I might just. Yeah, that one. That one's good. I'm going to take this one out. Mm -hmm. Oh, got a couple of loose leaves. Let's pop them in the pan. Eh. Is that my cute, my cute little tongs? Little kitty paws. I saw them on a cooking video and I immediately went and bought some. <laughs> On the in on the internet on eBay. I think they're absorbing the oil that I put in. I'm gonna turn down the heat a smidgen. And put some more oil in. The internet, that's where I'm from. In 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 my head, yes. That's where all of you are from, unless you're someone I know in real life. There's lots of really good ways to make sprouts tasty, by the way. Like, you don't have to do anything this fancy. Just, like, a little bit of, like, orange is nice. I Well, that's orange and cabbage, to be fair. I don't really know if it works for Brussels sprouts, but I imagine it would. Right, let's get some more, guy more Brussels sprouts in. I'm guessing we salt them so that they release a bit of liquid because the sauce is very intense and I think once the liquid of the once they start cooking down and releasing liquid it'll like thin it out a bit I'm guessing that's the concept anyway Do a little plug for something. What can I plug? I have a YouTube. I'm currently at 69 subscribers. Nice. But I'm uploading all of my cooking streams since I came back. Instead of being behind by a year, which I was earlier, I've stopped uploading the ones from last year and I have uh, started um, uploading them a little bit after I'm live, just because I have to like cut bits out. So you should go and subscribe. It would be very helpful for me, especially if something happens to my Twitch account, I will go and stream there. Though I can't at the moment. <laughs> but I think I can't. I don't think you have to be at a certain amount. Ooh, look at that one. That one looks good. I don't think you have to be at a certain amount of followers to stream. I think it's just. Sorry, subscribers. It's confusing because obviously subscribers on YouTube is just the same things as follows on Twitch, but subscribers on Twitch is paid for. So it can get a bit confusing for someone who's not used to this. Not me. I'm used to it. Discord coordinate on we will. Have a watch party. Well, the uh, cooking stream from a couple weeks ago is going live tomorrow. And... It's just like a little cat coming in and being like, ooh, gonna make my Brussels sprouts for the uh for Christmas. 
Oh, sorry, I try to keep my hand out of the shot so it looks more like it's actually just a little a little cat doing it. Hmm, I will have this one. <laughs> um. And I don't think I've, I've set when the next Sherlock Holmes is going to be is going to go out, but I'm also uploading all of my Sherlock Holmes gameplay on there. And next year I might start uploading other other games as well. Enjoy your stream. It goes well with me cup of coffee this morning. I am Seat I am in Seattle. Day off. I love it. Oh, wonderful! I hope you're enjoying your day off. And I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. I think we're almost. I need to put some more oil in this pan. We're almost done um, with the Brussels I've got in here. I love them too. I saw them in like a coffee, like an aesthetic coffee video. And I was like, I need these. What am I doing? I don't need to put them in. <laughs> I can use my hands to put them in the pan. Oh, I'm also, I've also been doing recipe write-ups, so um, after cooking the streams, I write up what I changed and like what, basically what happened in the, in, in the stream, I write it up on FanHouse, so if you're supporting me on FanHouse, don't forget to go and have a look at those. It goes up, and you can see my thoughts on how the stream went, etc. Did you do any holiday shopping? I like giving gifts to little ones in my family, niece and nephew. I have- what? Guys! Look, they look tasty, but you don't need to jump in the pan! My goodness! Um, I've done almost all my shopping. Oh, that is- oh my god, is that the timer for the plat already? Okay, hold on. Um, I've done almost all my shopping, there's only one person I haven't bought for, and I am completely stumped on what to get for them. <laughs> Let me give this a quick check. Oh, it's looking good! I think it could do with a little bit longer, I'm gonna go for five more minutes. Not box. <laughs> I try to, um, I've actually bought Christmas presents this year. Normally I, I try and make some of my gifts, like bake things for people, but I just, the last couple of years I've been so stressed trying to get it done around working around Christmas that I just, this year I was like, I'm just going to buy stuff. So I tried to like put aside a set amount of money so that I could buy things for people. And I think most, mostly it's okay. The only thing is one of the presents I got for my secret Santa hasn't arrived because of the royal mail strikes and several other gifts haven't arrived but they don't need to arrive until like just before christmas so that's fine this is the only one that needs to be have arrived already that's it that's it i'm getting in there you gonna are you really that cold <laughs> is it really that cold okay i think i need to turn this back up again i think so what have you been getting for your um niece and nephew this is I don't have uh, I don't have any niece and nephews. I'm uh, which is annoying because I work in a toy shop and I feel like if I had people in the fam, children in the family, then I would be able to be like, ah, I will get them this and this and this because I work in a toy shop. I can get it while I'm at work, but I don't. There's I'm 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 not the I'm the youngest in my family, and Joe has young cousins but i don't know them well enough to buy them presents and also they're not that young anymore so i'd be the coolest aunt well thank you thank you that's very sweet is that because i work in a toy shop and i can get them the toys they want that's why i'm the coolest aunt it's also my co-workers keep being asked by like their family to get them specific toys while they're at work, and I've never had anyone ask me that. I would like if I got toys or games with gifts. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind getting- there's some- some of the stuff we sell I wouldn't mind getting. Especially the video games, but I mean like the toys, but 
I don't really... There's no one on my on my Christmas list that I would be like, you, you know, I'd feel not weird getting them a toy. Because I, I don't, I feel like there's no one who would want a toy that we would actually sell. Like some people would like things based on TV shows they like, but we don't have things from that TV show, that kind of stuff, you know? He loves to sing and dance, and Effie likes learning soccer moves. Ah! I'm gonna add a look one one last dash of oil, and then we're gonna get this in the oven. <laughs> Am I on your Christmas list? Oh, off to work. Have a great day. Okay. Oh my goodness, help! That's loud. Um, have a good day at work, Luco. I hope that your five eggs will give you energy for the day. You got my six-year-old niece a bow and arrow set for Christmas. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that is really cool. Not anymore. There we go, look at that. Guess this is just to get it started cooking, or maybe it's just so it's got a bit of... It's not like super soft when it gets in the sauce. I think they will sustain me to lunch for sure. A time thief was fired last night, so we're short-handed, but that's okay. Ugh. It seems like you're always, like, short-handed or people aren't doing their jobs. But then again, same. <laughs> That's not actually true. But we do get When it's not Christmas, we're, we usually are short-handed. These, these ones are a bit more, I think. What'd you say about my hands? They're short. This is actually quite a lot. I didn't think this would be, uh, this isn't going to be enough for three people. It might be, could be enough for three people, actually. Probably plenty. Uh, that's why I smell like burning. The life of retail. Like I was saying earlier, um, they were talking, uh, we were just all handily talking at work. And my manager was like, oh yeah, because you'll be going back to one day a week in January. And I was like, will I? Okay. Oh, that is for me to check the, the uh, pastry again. Oh, that is looking good. Okay, I'm going to pull that out. Ugh. Let me just get this out of the way. Oh, it smells so good. Just wait till you guys see this. I'm gonna have to keep that cooking for a second longer. Mm, do I wanna do, do I wanna go longer on this? I feel like it might start burning, but I don't feel like the pastry is fully done in the middle. I'm gonna go for like three more minutes. Not just retail, it's like that in the IT world too. Almost said 30 minutes there. Never enough hours for the people we have, and never enough people for the hours we need. Yep. Like a head. Oh, look at that one. Mmm, that's what I'm looking for. Like head office will, you know, the system only gives us so many hours unless it's Christmas time and they give us millions and millions of hours. So they have to hire lots of people, which is good because we need more people. But then as soon as it's, you know, Christmas is over, they're like, bye, out the door with you. And not because it's not busy, but just because we don't get given enough hours. And then if we don't use the hours, we get less hours that same time next year. So that's why they're really, like, on the ball with it. There it is. I will show you what's in the oven in just a second, Vi. Give me one second. Okay. I'm happy with that. I will sort the sauce for that in a second. I'm running out of space here. But um, I don't need that again, so I can just... Oh, good. Okay. Wonderful. Sorry about that. You can hear me on the music. Yeah, I don't know why. Sometimes when I disconnect and then I reconnect, the audio just goes. All of it goes. Um, but now I'm back and you can hear me. You guys ready to see the pastry? Perfect timing. I've got my kitchen snakes. 
Oh, 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 baby. Okay, hold on. Let me get the camera. It's not used to happen to a lot of people. I'm glad it's not just me, because it would be really annoying if it was. Look at this thing. Hot diggity damn. Look at that. It smells so good, you guys. I was really worried. I thought it was going to be... Um, I thought the, the, the when I checked on it, the cheese was like melting like all over it. And I was like, the cheese is either going to... It's either going to burn or it's going to be too wet for... Um, it's going to be too wet and it's not going to crisp. It's just going to like spread and that's it. But look at it. I'm going to send you a picture. And he's going to be like, don't send me that, it's so mean. I'm so proud of this. See, you stop being nervous and we're perfect. Thank you. Turn this off now because I'm not frying those Brussels sprouts. I'm going to take loads of pictures because once I cut it, it's probably not going to be this pretty. <laughs> but we're going to leave it for a bit because it's going to be way too hot to eat. And unfortunately, because the stream dropped, there is going to be an ad in a couple seconds. So I'm going to make it run now while I'm sorting some stuff out. So apologies, there's an ad coming up. <laughs> right, let's make a space over here and then we can sort the Brussels sprouts out. Bye-bye. Mm. Just gonna put this rivet down. We'll move this over. I'm not gonna touch it with my bare, my bare hands. <laughs> Secret ad dance that only subscribers get to see. Exactly. You get to enjoy it. I think I'm gonna change my layout a wee bit in the new year and have chat like up here so that you guys can see yourselves and see what's being said right so here are my sprouts they're supposed to go straight in the oven or straight on the with the lid but i'm just gonna do it now because i had something in the oven um i've got the oven at 180 right now i think that's what i had at last time oh it's pokemon i think it's not it's super mario never mind it's super mario um 64 Dire Dire Docks. A lot to eat myself. Straight. Not in my Christian Minecraft server. Um, <laughs> so yeah, these are the Brussels sprouts. As you can see, we've seared them, but they're not fully cooked. Some of them are a bit more seared than others. And this is the mixture that we're going to put on them. It doesn't look very pleasant. But <laughs> the problem is, when you have two big bits of cabbage, you just have to kind of spread it on the cabbage and then you're done. But I've got all of this. I've only got this much for all of these. So I might need to make another... Should I make more? I think I should make some more. I don't think that's going to be enough for all of that. Or should I just, like, put blobs on the top? I'm going to... You know what? We're going we're gonna to start. And I'm going to check on them as we go. So I'm just going to smush this butter down a bit. This, uh, if you weren't here earlier, in fact, I should wait till the ad finishes before I show you what, before I put this in the oven, because otherwise you're going to miss the good stuff if you're not subscribed, so. I guess it's kind of the point. Sub for the good stuff, exactly. I'm trying to think what else I could put on Fan House slash Patreon. It's like an incentive. I already put on like the recipe recaps, so I like write up recipes. But I don't know what else to put on. It's not like I have other stuff that I do. Oh, there we go. Ads finished. Oh, they should be. So anyway, 
as I was saying, here are the Brussels sprouts that we have seared off. And we're going to put blobs of this, which is the sauce. This is kind of equal parts miso, honey, soy sauce, and butter. And we're going to put it... I'm just going to kind of blob it, because normally you spread it on the cabbage, but there's too many of them to spread it individually on each of them. I'm just going to kind of blob it. And then maybe mix up some more because we barely have any like look at this this is like that's like that's all of it should i mix it through i ended up with so much extra sauce at the end last time i'm kind of trying i'm reluctant to make more in case it's now nah, you know what screw it we're gonna make more we're gonna we're gonna put more more in because that's not gonna be enough so we need everything back. Ah, yes, that was the reason I wasn't doing more is because I barely have any miso left. I'll need to buy some miso before Christmas because I said I would bring the miso because I didn't. I wasn't sure if my mom would be able to get miso. this stream and it gets faster every time she says me so oh no that's just too fast that just ends up being over in like one second like beep. no don't make the same mistake again <laughs> i'm gonna lick my finger again And now I'm trying really hard not to say the word. If I just start singing that Mighty Boosh song. What about fighting in the dojo? Actually, sorry, it's about the soup. It's a soup song, isn't it? It's, um, soybean paste. Oh. Oh no, I think I bought this less than two months ago. It says I have to cons consume it within two months once opened. Pretty sure I haven't. It wasn't that long ago I bought this one. I used to have a big tub of it that I got from the, um, the Asian supermarket. But I never go through it quickly enough. Because I use it, but I don't use a lot at a time. <laughs> right. Is that enough? This is just all butter. It's like nothing else. It's just butter. I put in too much butter. It's fine. We're, I think I think we're good. I'm gonna use all of this. And then if it's still not enough, we'll make up some more as we go, because I've got more of all the ingredients, so it's fine. Here it is, back in the back in the hot seat. Back in the prime time. Just gonna. Hopefully, this works the same as the cabbage recipe. There we go. I think that's that. I think that was a good idea to make more because now it looks like it's actually covered. Not like completely covered, but enough that it's gonna flavor everything. All right, let me get home. I just realized the lid for this is like under all of these dishes. Hold on. Good thing I muted there. Because <laughs> everything started falling everywhere and it was really loud. You need to find a spoon that's also a cat paw? I'm sure they make them. Okay, now I've only got one thing in the oven. I think I can actually put it in like this. I usually have to put the lid in the other way up because there's not enough space, but I think I can probably move this shelf and there'll be enough space. All right. Oven's on 180. I'm going to check it after 10 minutes, I think. 
obviously it's cooled down a bit because there was that gap between frying them and putting them in the pan so it might be a little bit longer i don't really know how long it's supposed to take because they're teeny tiny Okay, okay, purple coffins, set me a timer for 10 minutes. I was going to say Google, so that's why I stopped myself. Right, shall we um, do a quick tidy up, because we've got 10 minutes, um, and I've got a bunch of stuff everywhere, so I'm going to do a quick tidy up. Um, tidy up dance party. I still haven't set up the dance party, I need to set that up. Um, but we'll do a tidy up dance party, I'll put on some good music. What do you guys want to listen to? I could put on Christmas music, or I could put on some 80s. Let's put on some 80s. 80s is always good. Um, we're going to set, we're going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh my god. I'm going to calm down for one. I'm going to mute myself. I'm going to turn the music up. Christmas music? Question mark? Um, I'm going to turn the music up, and then I'm just going to tidy up. So... When I highlight this later, I'll cut it out. Well, I'm just in a second. I'll be done, and we'll be back. Anyway, hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for your patience. Got a nice two good songs out of that, and um, I'm glad you enjoyed the music. Bye. How long do we tell her to forget to mute? And we can hear her singing. <laughs> Shush. I have a button that says I'm muted. Um, there. I've everything is either in the dishwasher or I've washed up. So I don't have a bunch of stuff to sort out at the end of stream. Thank you very much for your patience. I hope you enjoyed the music. Um, I will... I just realized what's playing. <laughs> I like really like this song, um, but I'm going to change it. Do back to what we were listening to before. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Where, where is the playlist we were listening to before? There it is. Um, yeah, so I am going to get an, oh my goodness, I'm out of breath. I am going to get an overlay, I think, um, something about a dance party, you know, so if someone comes in halfway through, they know what's going on. If you did come in during that, um, thanks for staying, and also I was just cleaning up a bit, um, and we were listening to music while I had a little boogie around the kitchen while our food cooked, but it is, uh, it's not actually done yet. But I, I managed to get everything done with the okay, disco ball. I think, like, that, the lights on my board, I can't figure out how to get it set up. Because I had it set up for the other lights I had, which were the same brand. Ooh, timing. There we go. Um, <laughs> so I could have them set to, like, change when it hits party mode. But... I haven't got I can't get it set up with my stream deck. It's not working. So if I can get it working, then I'll get I'll have a button that comes up with an overlay, lets you guys do spam all over the screen and changes those lights. So it's you know a disco, a party. Mmm. Oh my god, this smells great. That's been ten minutes in there. I'm, sorry. At 180 degrees. Shall we have a look? Computer, engage party mode. Exactly. I can even get oh, a little voice clip saying that would be fun. Ooh. Oh, a bit of the fluff on the inside of the gloves just came off. Okay. There's a lot of liquid in there now. That's what I thought would happen. But I don't think they're cooked yet. I'm going to put them back in again. The emote wall I use whenever they spam emotes is adding little sand hats to them. Oh, that's so cool. Is it... What is it? Do you mind if I ask... Which one you use. Also, hi Aaron, how you doing? Um, right, I'm gonna put on another timer for ten minutes. I'm gonna find a piece of card or paper or something that I can write notes on. You just use stream elements. Oh cool, okay. Um, I'm going to write a moat wall party because I, as soon as I finish my cooking stream, I forget that I said I'm going to do that. A moat wall party mode. Say we used... Um, we put on 180 degrees, the Brussels sprouts, for 10 minutes, plus 
And we'll just keep an eye on them. We'll keep an eye on the Brussels sprouts. I'll keep adding to my list. I'm not really following a recipe in terms of timings for that. So I want to make sure I get it right so I can do it again on Christmas. So obviously the oven is different. So that's going to make a difference. While we wait, shall we have a look at the pastry again? Because it might be cool enough to cut now. See, I swear when I saw that when I saw the video that I followed the first time, I assumed it was phyllo pastry because it's so it was so like flaky. It looked like phyllo to me. Look at this bad boy. Look at look at this. Look at it. Bathe it bask in its glory. Look at this thing. Ooh, I just hope it's cooked all the way through. <laughs> Otherwise it's gonna be a bit a bit disappointing. Let's get out my long serving board so we can take some pictures on it. There's been so much cheese in this bad boy. Okay. Alright. <laughs> How am I gonna do this? <laughs> How am I gonna do this? That's the question. Oh my god, it actually might be longer than my serving board. Right. What can I use? I have a fish slice, but only one. I might be able to, if I just get like the end of it. Okay, it might break in the middle. We're gonna try this. Get it all up, make sure it's all unstuck. Oh, it's very flaky. That was in the oven. You know, roommate, that looks so good. Come over for Christmas, it's why we're having a boxing day. <laughs> so I do feel really guilty because right now my sister can't have peas or vegetables because she's having some stomach problems. And I feel really guilty because she loves spinach and I'm going to make this and she won't be able to have it. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm so close. It just doesn't want to, it just doesn't want to go on, on any further and I don't want to pull it because I'm already losing pastry. Okay. Did it. It's on. Oh no, I'm making this and she's there. <laughs> you just can't eat it. But yeah, that's what was in the oven, by. Ah, something else to clean. I forgot I'm just gonna have to clean this. I'll just pop it to the side for now. Send her picture first and make it in front of her, then slowly eat it. She loves cheese and she loves spinach and she's gonna be absolutely good, but I'm gonna try and make sure that there's something for her to have so she doesn't feel completely left out, you know? I also want to get some nicer pictures, which is why I've moved it to this board. You took it away, I'm no longer hungry. It's back! It's back! He's back! Voldemort's back! Right. Oh my god, it's so flaky. It looks, like, fairly solid when I took it out of the oven because it's it kind of almost looks like bread but it is so flaky that was uh, that was a real ordeal just trying to move it onto this board all right let's get some better pictures feel free to clip it um especially when I cut into it there's actually a clip command now you can do exclamation mark clip and it clips the last 30 seconds of the stream Get that not bread. Look at it. It's crisped up perfectly. So cut into it. I will cut into it. I promise. I'm just going to take a bunch of pictures for Instagram. I find if I don't take a million pictures, I always end up with one that's slightly like not. Uh, I always want to post the one that's not pretty because I don't have a backup of that same shot. Right. Ready? We're going to cut into it. I'm not going to do the middle. I think it might be undercooked in the middle, but I'm going to do one of the ends. I need a knife. Okay. I'll do the smaller end down here. You got that clip ready? Let's go. Okay, here we go. I'm going to pause the music. Well, I'm going to attempt to. Here we go. Put my microphone really close to it. Oh, 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 okay, hold on. I'm taking my microphone off, see if you guys can hear this better. Ready?
I'm going to mute it while I put it back on. There we go. Okay. Okay, pastry is a tiny, tiny bit underdone. There you go. That is the, the filling. Give it a clip. Oh, it's so crunchy. Oh, it doesn't pick up on the mic if I don't do it like that. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, baby. I want to do a cheese pull, but I don't think, I think the mozzarella is too crispy for a cheese pull. I don't think it's going to work. You guys ready? We're going to do a taste, okay? Wow, this is as good as it looks. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Oh, I just got the Gouda. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my god, that's good. I think it could use... I think this that you could it could have used some seasoning. <laughs> Thanks for the mini cake. Thank you. How are you doing, by the way? Um, it could use some seasoning in in the spinach because I feel like the spinach is quite plain. It just tastes like spinach, and then you like like it's mixed with everything. But when you get just spinach, it's like Ugh. so. I think it needs some seasoning while it's cooking, like some salt. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. So so good. Mmm. Right. Can we try and get a cheese pull on the bigger slice? Okay, you can see, it's, like I said before, it looks a little bit underdone. Just where it's touching the spinach, but not by much. <laughs> can we do a cheese pull? It should still be hot enough. Hmm, no, but we got a pastry pull instead. You guys want some? You can have this one if you want. I'll just leave it here for you. You can pick it up and have it in a bit. Yeah, I don't know if it's not, it wasn't warm enough. Though I will say something. All right, it's, it doesn't always autofocus where I want it to. <laughs> there we go. That's just a bit of raw garlic. Like it might... No, that doesn't feel like it's cooked. So, yeah. What I said earlier, I was going to eat that, but I first want to say something. What I said earlier about the... um. Thank you for all the clips. I'll go through them later, and I'll get rid of any that are, like, overlapping. Um, But I really appreciate you clipping that a lot. That's Thank you so much. In a poll, it would be a cheese pull poll. <laughs> um, okay, so notes. Notes. Season the spinach while it's cooking, pre-cook the garlic. And also actually puree it, because I, I just put in chunks, so. And I think that's it. That's all my notes at the moment. I'll ask Joe when he gets in, but I think it needs, yeah, it needs a little bit more salt. Mmm. It's so crispy on the top. Like. Oh. That is for the Brussels sprouts. So we're going to take them out now. Sorry, pastry. You're going to go. You know, I, I just want to eat nothing but this. This is my dinner now. Um, We're going to check on the Brussels sprouts. <laughs> and it's okay if the Brussels sprouts aren't as good. Because the Brussels sprouts are a part of Christmas dinner. They're not a whole thing on their own. So as long as everything else is tasty, it doesn't matter. Oh, mm. Do you send pics? Joe pics of everything. I showed him. I sent him a pic of that because he's working right now. So I like to send him a pic so he's like he knows what to expect when he gets home. <laughs> That's why I send him pictures because if he, uh, you know, he's like, "What did you make on stream?" and I'm like, "Here it is, half mutilated and eaten because I was hungry." It's not as impressive. My little magic cauldron. Let's see if they're cooked, shall we? Mm. 
Okay, some of them feel soft, some of them feel like they could go for a little longer. I'm gonna take the lid off. Because I think I want to kind of cook off some of that sauce. I'm gonna put them back in for another five minutes. I could probably do with putting them on 200, but I'm just gonna leave it on 180 for right now. So we did another 10 minutes and then lid off five minutes. That's what we're gonna say. Yeah, five minutes with the lid off. Time to eat more cheese. Are you a chef? This is a good song. Turn that up. Ooh. What was that? There's something in it. Ooh. Mm, oh. This bit had more sesame seeds on it. Oh, the sesame seeds re really work. Again, if you'd like to make it, the recipe is pinned in chat, pinned at the top of chat. There is, I think it's German, but there is an English translation on the same post. Doesn't really explain the steps very easily, but they're in the video. And you should go and, uh, go and make it. Alright, I'm going to check the middle. I was worried the middle was undercooked. I don't think I can check without making it fall apart. Oh. That's so good. I was really worried about there being too much cheese. I already did that. I already pinned. Oh, it's because I ended the stream. Oh, thank you. I was gonna be like, why are you unpinning my message to pin your because I ended the stream because we had the because it went all funny. Rude. So yeah. It is now pinned at top of chat. Sorry about that. And if you're watching later, it's in the description. Right, we've got a few minutes. My pin's better than your pin. Rude. I just want to eat more. I want to eat the whole thing. I can eat. I can eat the rest of the slice that I made. Right, that's okay. Look at that. That's like. Excuse me. Focus, please. Focus. Thank you. That's like top of a pizza. Cheese. Gaze upon its glory. I was so worried it was gonna melt and just become a mess. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh, so crispy. Mm. It just dawned on me. I didn't check. So I tried to find if there was a recipe for the cabbage thing, the, the TikTok that we used today. But I never actually checked whether they had a blog for this, where it might have had more instructions. I just followed the video, and it worked. So, ow. Oh. Ooh, they're getting crispy. 
Oh, they look good. Mmm. Yeah, I think taking the lid off is definitely the right call. Like, some of those look really crispy, but, like, good, not burnt. Don't worry. I will check and put it in the YouTube comments, and then I'll be better than the description. Why, thank you. <laughs> I don't know if this stream's gonna go up before Christmas. Probably will. But it just depends how much time I've got. I think I'm going to take them out now. Oh, well, I had two seconds left on the timer anyway, so it's fine. Look at these. Look at them. They, well, I mean, they just look like Brussels sprouts, but like, look at this guy. He's got some nice color. Oh, actually, they're not that crispy. That's just the, the earlier frying. So they are quite soft. Okay, yeah, they're, they, I think, I'm pretty sure they're all cooked. They just got, some of them just got a bit of bite to them. We can turn the oven off now. I hope these are good. Because when I made the cabbages, I had to cook down the sauce because it was really, really watery. This looks kind of similar, actually. If I, well, I'll do it in a place where you can actually see. Like, it's really thin because it's the stuff that we put in, but then it's mixed with um, the Brussels juice. <laughs> mm, that sounds so good, doesn't it? Um, hmm. I want to try them, but they're going to be too hot. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my, my chair and I'm going to sit down. Oh, wait. I'll move my induction hob first. Oh, and I can... Um, <gasps> you know what I could do? I've just spotted something. I've got tiny little squares of pastry that I cut off. Let me show you. I've got tiny little squares of pastry and I have mozzarella left. I'm going to make little mozzarella um, pastry parcels while I wait for these to cool. So neither of them go to waste. Induction hob. You mean your ducky? Is that what we're calling it now? Let's do it. Let's make a little, like a little treat. <laughs> Put a little bit of mozzarella in it. Fold it up. Like a little envelope. And then I can put sesame seeds and egg on it on the top. Oh my god, I actually have the right amount of each anyway. <laughs> like, I have the right amount of slices. That's mozza, isn't it? Aye. That's mozza. Name of a pizza place. They're not very pretty, but that's fine. They don't need to be pretty. They should be tasty. And that sounds like something that someone would quote me for. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put some egg on them and I'm going to put them in the oven. Since the oven is still mostly hot. We're gonna do that. Have a little. Yeah, I'll paint them while they're on there so that they're paint them. I'll put egg on them <laughs> while they're on the chopping board so I don't make too much mess. Actually, it's fine. I'm on the baking tray first. These ones are probably going to blow, blow, explode, blow, blow up, I was going to say. They're probably going to blow up um, more than the, the mozzarella on the top of this did. Oh, it's so crispy. I keep looking at it and being like, it's so crispy. I want to eat it. Right. Okay. 
Keep cooking and nobody explodes. That's the new game. I am going to put salt on these as well. Because there's not as much going on. They're literally just mozzarella. There's a bit of sesame on each one. There we go. Like I am, um, the first, the end piece of the, uh, of the pastry log, the strudel, as the recipe calls it, um, didn't have very much sesame seeds on it, so I tasted that. Obviously it was great. And then I, um, I had the, the next bit in, and I was like, why does it taste different? It's because it had sesame. Let's put that in there for like five minutes. Okay. Can we try one of the Brussels sprouts now, do we think? I think it's probably cooled enough. Obviously, I don't want to make these if they're going to be like a lot of hard, extra hard work to make them on top of everything else because you know I'm making gravy, I'm making the turkey, I'm making the, the potatoes, the, the parsnips and the carrots. You guys want to try one first? Make sure to blow on it, it's quite hot. There you go, there you are. I'll get one for me. This one's mine now. <laughs> Hmm. It's missing something. I don't know what, but it's like it's... It's too watered down now? Like it, it's gotten... the sauce is too thin. But it's also the actual sprout itself just tastes like it's got it's got hints of the flavors. Like I can taste the soy, and I guess a bit of the miso. Hmm, that one's better. Hmm, still missing something. Maybe if I get the sauce out of the bottom and I reduce it and then we put it back on them, I think that could maybe work. How do I do that? How do I do that without making a complete mess? Um, what can I serve them in? What can I serve them in? Because I'm not... Obviously, I'm not making the whole Christmas dinner, so I've not got, like, a big plate to put them on. i put them in here, I guess. Yeah, let's put them in there. This is where we start experimenting. I mean, I'm already experimenting. This recipe isn't like this normally. But I'm going to take them all out. I don't know, maybe they need to cook in... Can you marinate sprouts? Does that does that do anything if they're raw? Like they look really good. Like look at that. They look really as like aesthetic, that's the wrong word. They look really well cooked, right? They look like they should be tasty, but they're they're not they're missing something. I don't know if it's just because I've been spoiled by the really tasty pastry thing over there. But I think it just needs an extra little something. Not salt. It's not too salty, but I think if I added more salt, it might just... I might explode. My heart might blow up. Um, 
We have another one that's Eli, I think. Hmm. Herbs, you might be right. I don't know what would go though. Maybe it's garlic. You know what? I think it could be garlic. Let me try something. Wait, where's my fork? You're getting a sneaky peek into what I'm like when I'm cooking dinner. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. This isn't obviously the best way of doing it, but this might give me an idea. I'm gonna put some garlic granules on the on one of the Brussels sprouts and see if it. Oh, that's my timer. It's garlic. It needs garlic. That's what it's missing. Boom. And I wouldn't have got that if you hadn't suggested herbs because I wouldn't have looked at my spice rack. Not you guys. Um, wonderful. Good. But I'm not going to put raw garlic in it. I'll put some granules in this. And cook it down a little bit. Because it's not, it's got a lot of flavour, but it's very thin. I want to like thicken it up a bit. But before we do, I'm going to check my pastry. Is it really cold? Is it snowing? It is very cold. Not in here, because I've got the oven on. But we haven't been getting snow, because um, it's like it's been bypassing the snow. It's going to, it's getting, <laughs> just deciding not to snow. Right, that's still even more time. That's fine. Oh, tell you what, I added those garlic granules and it just, that was just what I needed, right? But my, um, but my mum's, I think she said, hold on, let me just see. Oh no, it's not there. Oh, I can't find it now. My mum my, my sent a message saying it was X amount of snow. Yeah. I've also decided not to snow. Oh, good. I'm glad you made that decision. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. This is a lot, a lot of work for a side. Guess I could do this in advance and then reheat them, like fry them up. That could be nice, actually. If I if I cook them in I cook them in advance and then I fry them up to heat them through. I mean, that's that's actually looking quite thick now. It's it's cooling down a bit. I'm gonna cook it down a tiny bit and I'm gonna add some garlic granules in it. But I would add fresh garlic. I need to write this down. That feels like enough. Right, let that cook. And then I'll put the, the Brussels sprouts back through it. And hopefully, that'll be what it needed. Cool. Sorted. Um, and then when that's done, I'll... Wrap up the stream and make my dinner because I can't have the pastry for dinner as much as I want to.
But yeah, the UK is having a lot of a lot of snow. And it's really cold. And I think I said this before, but it's in some parts of Scotland it's due to hit minus fifteen at night, which is the same temperature as the coldest town in the world. No, sorry, the most northern town in the world, not the coldest town in the world. The most northern town in the world. Um, the one that's kind of near the North Pole. Um, so that's fun. <laughs> and uh, something else I was going to say. Oh yeah, and in Shetland right now, they've had power cuts for like two days. I don't know if they're back now, but as of yesterday, they had power cuts for two days. And I know there was a problem with some of the islands getting supplies. So they had like a week's worth of supplies all arrive at the same time. Okay, that's heating up quite quickly. All right, I'm going to say that's that's thick enough. I only need to thicken it a tiny bit by cooking it a little bit. I think it's still quite thin, but I think it will work. And now it's got garlic in it. So let's get those, let's get a brussel and give it a dip in one of these, in, in this sauce even. Now it's been thickened up a bit. Here we go. I'm so disappointed in how it tasted before, so hopefully this makes it better. Mm hmm Oh, that's so much better. Uh-oh. The mozzarella has exploded. <laughs> in the in the oven. We'll just leave that. Mm-hmm. They are so good. I have successfully made miso soy and honey Brussels sprouts. They just need to be dumped in the sauce. Mm. Yep. I'm so glad I decided to test these and didn't just go for it. Right. I might be late doing my fan house post for this one. So here is the uh here's the recipe. <laughs> Until I write it up. It's using what was his name? Thomas Slaker. Oh, I've lost it already. Hold on. Thomas Straker, sorry, cabbage video, but we've changed it. So, what you need to do, you need to make a sauce with equal parts miso, soy sauce, honey, and butter. I use dark soy sauce and regular um, brown miso, like the stuff you can buy not in a specialty shop, just like the stuff you could get at like Tesco. You make a sauce, you fry, you salt the Brussels sprouts, and then you fry them, you cut them in half, and you fry them like face down until they're kind of crispy. And then you dump that and the sauce in a pan that you can cover, and you put it in the oven until the Brussels are cooked. But there needs to be garlic in it. So I think. We put garlic in the sauce, but it's um, garlic paste instead of chopped garlic. You put that in when you're doing the honey and the miso. Not sure how much. Experiment. And then when they're cooked, get the sauce and thicken it up if it needs it. And then put the Brussels bracket back in. Mm -hmm. And that's how you do it. That is how you make the best Brussels sprouts. <laughs> They're not the best. I've had better. 
but I'm very happy with how they've turned out. The mozzarella. So I decided to use the last of the mozzarella and some pastry squares. Just so they didn't go to waste. And it's kind of exploded in the oven. I don't think it's going to necessarily get crispy. Like the pastry, I mean. It just looks very wet. So I've turned up the oven. And that's how you sprout brussels. That's how you start growing brussels. From your body. Set a bit more of a timer. Yeah, that's um, that's everything. And the pastry, obviously. Um, I'm gonna eat any more. I want more sprouts. They're so good. So I would serve them. Well, the thing is, is because I'm gonna be serving this with the rest of Christmas dinner, so there's already gonna be a gravy. So I guess I'm just gonna like toss them through before I put them on the plates. Yeah. Goodness, I almost got miso all over myself. So, the actual turkey. Thank you, cake. The actual turkey is going to be a recipe I've used before, but for chicken. And I'm just really hoping that it translates okay. Basically, it's like lemon zest and clementine or satsuma or whatever zest mixed through butter. And then you put it under the skin. And then you put like oil over the top so it doesn't burn. And then I'd put a clementine inside it. But I can't do that because we only got a turkey crown. We didn't get a whole turkey. So I'm going to have to improvise. <laughs> and then I'm just making like honey glazed carrots and parsnips, but nothing fancy. Just, I think there's just going to be honey and oil probably. The pigs and blankets and the stuffing are coming pre-made, thank goodness. I don't think I could be ever be bothered to make pigs and blankets. Um... And there's roast potatoes as well. And I think that's it. Other than the gravy. Mm. I think that's what I'm doing. We're not having a pudding because no one ever has to has space for pudding. Yeah. Can't believe it's only... Well, I think you will ask for the... You pulled up the command earlier, but let me do it. Nine days away. It's quite scary. I just realized that person I need to buy a present for. It has to be posted. So it's probably not going to get it in time for Christmas. That's going to suck. I'm going to run my ads while we wait for this stuff to cook. Yeah, it was sneaky this year, wasn't it? I'm going to put this butter away now. Because I don't need out. And I need to sort out something to do with that egg. Because that's going to have to go away until I make spinach puffs tomorrow. So I'm going to make spinach puffs tomorrow. So I need to buy spinach while I'm at work. So I can make them after work. You're wondering why we're just standing around not doing anything. It's because I have something in the oven. I made some like mini pastries with the leftovers. So I've left those in the oven. But I'll bring these over. Look at that. Look at that baby. Oh, oh I haven't taken any pictures of um the sprouts. I don't really know how to make them look pretty because they're very messy. Oh, I can just do like a little... Oh, I know. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Stop all over my fingers. I'll just do like a little ramekin with some sprouts in it. 
That'll be fine. We don't have a bun in the oven. We got pastry in the oven. Make sure you can see all of the... Ooh! That's the timer for said pastry. Alright, look. I'll turn you off in a second. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to do a presentation thing, okay? Chill. Not you guys. I'm not shouting at you guys. Not you guys. Didn't mean you guys. <laughs> Boop. I'm going to spoon some sauce over it. Yep, I'm going to take those out. I think they're fine. Ba ba. They're just little cheesy pastries. I'm just going to leave them to cool, turn off the oven, take some pictures, and then I think we're probably done. Another one on the top, I think. There we go. Needs to have some height to it. Much better. Okay. Let's take some pics. And then... Can we ask? Not very easy to make these look great. Ooh. This pan was warped from the heat and it just bounced back. Ooh. Knock the camera slide slightly. Sorry guys. Probably gonna have these as my vegetable for dinner. And then we'll have um I bought pre-made potatoes and I've got chicken marinating that I started at the very beginning of stream, so I'm good to go. Okay, I'm happy with that. Happy with those pictures. Most importantly, look at this beauty. Look at this thing that I have created. Well, I didn't create it, but I have made today. I didn't make it up, but I did cook it, and that's the important thing. Look at it. It's beautiful. And it's got these little brussels in the back. I'm just like chilling over here, hanging out. Who shall we go say hi to? I don't really have anything else to do. It's quite a short stream today. Oh, it says it's been an hour, but that's just because um, I had to stop the stream at one point. <laughs> let's uh, let's see who is live and preferably cooking. Not that many people cooking, actually, that I follow. Probably because a lot of people would cook on the same day as me, and that's why I started following them, and now I'm streaming on- a, I'm cooking on a different day, so... I'm... Dum -dum -dum. Just checking some people. That's why you're the top cooking streamer on Twitch. That's why I'm in the top 1%, apparently. Um, okay, I found someone who seems nice. Um, I get a bit nervous when we go and say hi to cook people in the cooking category who aren't cooking streamers normally, because there was this one time, and this is... It seems so silly now, but there was this one time that we went and we raided... Somebody who was normally a gaming streamer but was like doing a one-off cooking stream as like a birthday thing or something. And they were really, really rude when I came in. They were like, who are you? Why are you here? And I was just like, well, um, I just wanted to come and see your stream. And they were like so rude to, me, to us. And now I'm always really nervous. But I know most of the people in food and drink. I don't think I've ever had an experience like that with people who are like primarily food and drink streamers. Or they do it a lot. Anyway. I'm going to send you guys this to this lovely person. They seem nice. Yeah, no, it was it was quite a long time ago, Sick Inside. It was like maybe my first year or two of streaming. Um, 
and they were they were i think they were they were like why are you like why have you brought people here and i was like i just saw that you were in cooking she's like well i'm not a cooking streamer and she was like really i remember her as being quite like abrupt with me but i don't know if maybe she was like scared or like she could it could have been that she was like trying to prevent trolls and she thought i was coming to like troll her but at the same time there was like maybe 10 people so it probably was it probably wasn't that i think she was just being rude yeah i think it was she was like i don't know you like i don't know your name why are you here i don't know I, who brought you here like she was really rude anyway not important because the person we are going to raid hopefully isn't going to be like that so we're going to go and see ellen arius Oh my goodness. Okay, the stream just went weird and they brought it back. Maybe, yeah, it might have been that they've been hate rated. I think it could be that, yeah. Um, yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to tell you guys that because it's, it was just so weird and I get a bit nervous about it <laughs> in case I go to someone and they're like, um, because then the community was all like, oh, this is a weirdo. Who, do, what do they do? Oh, they do cooking streams about me. Thank you so much for the follow from Twisted and Sass and the bits from Cake and also the ridiculously large raid from Star as well. It doesn't show raids in this thing, so I just wanted to say thank you. I also wanted to say, um, if you want to follow me on other social medias, they are in the chat right now. Thank you, of course, to Luco, Samio, Kirsty, Hit People Guy, Sketchy, Ego, Maru, Balmit, Dragon, and Show for supporting me on Patreon, Kofi, or Fanhouse, or some of them on multiple platforms. Um, I'm going to do a write-up about this on Fan House probably next Monday, because that's when I usually do it. Um, and I'm going to post it on YouTube and all that good stuff. So if you do want to see my content in other places, you can go to all of those other social media platforms. Yes, good. Oh my goodness, look how many of us there are. How many viewers did I have? Oh my goodness. Ha, well, thank you for sticking around if you came from the raid, by the way. Um... We made some tasty food. I hope you um, enjoy their stream. I don't know their name. Um, but I hope you enjoy it. 46, that's a lot of people. 46! Um, we made a lovely pastry thing and some Brussels sprouts. And I'm going to go and have a sleep now. <laughs> and then make dinner. Um, and I hope you all... Have a great weekend. I will be streaming next week, but I don't know how many of the days of the week I will be streaming. Please pay attention to social media because I'll post there. I'm probably going to do a Thursday stream, but that'll be the last stream of the year because I'm not streaming between Christmas and New Year's. So if you want to come and say Happy New Year to me, you have to do it then. Okay, cool. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember in no particular order to wear your mask, wash your hands, take your medication, drink some water, eat some food, and most importantly, be kind to others and to yourself. If you can't be kind to yourself, that's okay. Maybe go and have a Brussels sprout, but cook it first. Don't have it raw. Um, and I will see you guys next week. Okay, I'm going to send you guys on that raid now.